Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pirates. Sign in from the Great Prison Under the Sea. Chapter 61. Captain Shano, who was walking with his head down to avoid the cold wind, suddenly raised his head. The red light left traces of his eyes moving as he looked towards the oncoming sandstorm. Captain Shanuo curled up the corner of his mouth and said with a teasing smile. Hey, hey, why don't you admit defeat? You underestimate Lousy. Crocodile's voice came from the sandstorm. Then, I'll defeat you completely. Buzz. A terrifying aura emanated from Captain Shan Nuo's body. The world turned into black and white in an instant, except for the black and red lightning fluctuations around Captain Shano. The shallan sent by Crocodile seemed to have been pressed on the pause button, making it difficult to move forward. Crocodile inside was sweating violently. The familiar feeling once again reminded him of the smell of death. Black and red lightning suddenly erupted and became violent, and the shape of the lightning became thicker. Strips of black and red cut through the air, dotting the world that was plunged into black and white. Try this move to see if you can withstand it. Momo 100 times the pressure. Boom. 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 The conqueror's domineering energy, which was already so rich and substantial, was like a giant mountain pressing down on him at this moment. Next to Sagu Mountain, a tall and protruding mountain, the snow layer on the top of the mountain collapsed. Rocks that had been sealed for hundreds of years were exposed. In just a moment, the rocks began to crumble. The tall Sagu Snow Mountain was being compressed inch by inch. The terrifying conqueror's pressure makes this world ferocious and terrifying. Even the air is compressed, and cracks appear. It's like the earthquake fruit is activated. The invisible force is going to crush this area. All the wounds on Crocodile's body collapsed at this moment. Blood oozes from the body, like a bloody man. He had a ferocious look on his face, and his eyes almost popped out of his head. He clenched his teeth so hard that you could even hear the sound of his teeth grinding and cracking. This aura that is going to crush and destroy this world is concentrated on Crocodile alone, and it is going to crush his knees. Uh huh. At this time, Crocodile could no longer speak but with his eyes wide open, his heart was still raging. How could it be possible? The gap was much bigger than imagined. Didn't he use all his strength last time? Just his momentum made it difficult for him to move. But, no matter what, you must not kneel down. The roar in his heart seemed to bring strength to Crocodile. A power hidden deep in the body that has never been discovered begins to awaken. Is it Conqueror's dominance? Crocodile suddenly raised his head. His pupils shrank suddenly. An equally domineering aura came out of his body. It's just that although this power is domineering. But whether it is size or quality, it is far inferior to Captain Shano's conqueror's domineering power. It was just released, holding up a small area, and then was suppressed back, and was hit by the substantial conqueror's domineering force. Crocodile lost control of his body. At the last moment, he adjusted his body posture so that he fell down instead of kneeling. Bang! Crocodile fell to the ground and lay there, looking at the snowflakes falling from the sky. The snowflakes fell on his face and were evaporated by the boiling blood. It's so, so scary, Captain. Crocodile spoke faintly, as if he didn't care whether Captain Shano in the distance could hear him. Ha 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 ha, Lao Sha. Your injury is not healed yet, believe me. Come to my ship. Your future level will be no worse than mine now. Captain Shano laughed out loud in the distance. He could hear the voice of his heart and the sounds of all things. Crocodile's light words could not be clearer in Captain Shano's ears. When Crocodile heard this, he also chose to close his eyes. He didn't know whether it was because he felt ashamed that his whispered words were heard, or because his body couldn't bear it and chose to fall asleep. Anyway, we arrived on the ship early, and the sand crocodile who has been unconscious until now. The second in command of the future cross union. The partner chosen by Mahawk. The desert emperor who is known as a 50 to 50 pirate. Crocodile. Officially on board. Conquerors, domineering. The newcomers who had just joined the team, as well as Basque Chote, had their jaws still on the ground at this moment. Every newcomer who had just gone to sea would be shocked to the point of shattering their views when they saw such power. It turns out that the same people can have such a huge gap. Ha <laughs> ha hey hey hey. The captain's conqueror's hockey is really strong. Oh, by the way, captain. When I developed my fruit power, I also awakened the conqueror's hockey. 
Although this was not the first time for Moria to see Captain Shano unleash Conqueror's Hockey, this time it was obviously a hundred times more terrifying than before. This also made him impressed again. He thought he could catch up with the captain after awakening Conqueror's Hockey, but he didn't expect it to be worse. So many. Um. Of course Captain Shano knew that Moria had also awakened Conqueror's Hockey, so he didn't really care. Shiryu, on the other hand, stared at Mariya in disbelief. Has this guy awakened his conquerors? And it seems that the sand crocodile just now awakened his conqueror's domineering force under the pressure of the captain's conquerors. How could he do this? As a character who appeared too early in the early stage, Crocodile did not show many of his abilities. He can draw with Bullet, compete with Doflamingo in planning, get together with Hawkeye who is used to being alone, and fight against each other in the war, after defeating Whitebeard, Hawkeye, and General but people only play high-end games. The latest bounty after leaving Shichibukai is as high as 1.965 billion. This is a higher bounty than the three lieutenants of Marco, Jin, and Katakori. With so many auras attached to him, it is not surprising at all that Crocodile will awaken Conqueror's Hockey in the later stages when Conqueror's Hockey is rampant. Shiryu was indeed a little panicked at the moment. He didn't know if Mahak could do it, but he felt that he could do it. His strong and confident aura was absolutely unmistakable. Some people are born to be kings, with outstanding temperament, which can be seen at a glance. Therefore, among the current cadres, I seem to be the only one who is not conqueror's domineering. That Evan and the newly arrived clown. They deserve to be tied with me. Cadres also have to be ranked according to their rank. As candidates for senior cadres, they have already begun to lag behind others. How can they be repaired? Looking at Shiryu next to him, whose eyes were about to burst into flames, Captain Shan Nuo was really confused. Why did he seem to be the one he had just beaten? Hey, sometimes I really want to use mind reading to see what these violent people are thinking every day, but I can't understand it at all. Captain Shan Nuo was thinking whether it was time to conduct an advanced tutorial on domineering, such as attachment, flow, internal destruction, and other advanced usage techniques. Then when the time is right, teach conquerors winding skills. Whether they can learn it and how quickly they learn it all depends on their own understanding. Over the great line, a huge floating fortress is flying. Not far behind this fortress, there is a floating island. This is Captain Shiano's war fort and small garden. Through the record pointer obtained on Drum Island, Captain Shiano's system map has successfully unlocked the sea area to the kingdom of Alabasta. In fact, there are many record pointers for obtaining records on Kangu Island, and a route that can lead all the way to the Sabayati Islands has been developed. Moreover, several kingdom sea areas around the Drum Kingdom have also been unlocked, so the map at this moment is no longer shrouded in black mist, and many areas have been lit up. Captain Shano has received news from the Drum Kingdom that the world government has ordered Marine to arrest Bullet outside the waters of the Alabasta Kingdom. This is the news that the Drum Kingdom received from the world government for help when it learned that the, descendants of the devil, were going against the Great Sea Route and destroying countries and islands. The world government contact person clearly told the old king that Bullet would be killed in the Kingdom of Alabasta and would not affect the Drum Island. Even with this explanation from the world government, the old king still ordered the seaport to be blocked and outsiders not allowed to enter the kingdom, which also led to a direct conflict with Captain Shano. Although the treasure accumulated over generations was lost, in the end, he saved his life and left the Green Hills without fear of running out of firewood. Looking at the distance on the map, Captain Shiano didn't know whether Bullet and Marine had encountered each other, so he chose the fastest way forward. The best result is to intervene in the battle while Bullet and Marine are fighting. If he arrived early, with Bullet's temperament, he would definitely have to fight Captain Shiano, which would make it easier for Marine to miss him. If it's too late and Bullet has been captured, then Captain Shiano will have to face the top buster call if he wants to rescue Bullet. Warring states and Garp join forces, but Captain Shano doesn't want to try. If they catch up with the battle in full swing and Captain Shano leads his men into the battle, Bullet alone can share a considerable portion of the Marine force. In that case, the pressure on Captain Shano will be much less. Not to mention another 20 years, even another 5 or 6 years, Captain Shano will not make such calculations. The new monsters under his hands have not fully grown up. 
If anyone is beaten by garp, where will they go? Go ahead and cry, so you can be stable. However, Captain Sha Nuo is also confident. He will definitely be able to sign Sengoku and Garp by then, and his strength will be improved again. I dare not say that he can defeat Garp and Sengoku alone. He should be able to do it if he delays it. The same goes for the new monsters. Monsters, there are still many things they can do. There are also several combat forces in the small garden. The strength of Briji and Tori is also unknown, but they were able to lead the giant pirates a hundred years ago and turn the sea upside down. There is no reason why they will not be as good as a few lieutenant generals a hundred years later. Thinking about it this way, Captain Sha Nuo discovered that apart from his lack of top-level combat power, he was already very rich in mid-level combat power. Beat. Young ones. Remember what I told you about the upcoming battle. Captain Shano stood on the top of the Lord's Castle and asked everyone in the square. Ouch. Of course I remember. Mahak and others are also waiting for the next step with their arms folded. They are very much looking forward to a battle that a strong man of Captain Shano's level will take seriously. Ah, in order to allow you to have a stress-free vacation, my captain never told you who the enemy is. Captain Sha Nuo smiled, waved his hand, and said lightly. Now that the time is ripe, I also plan to tell you the enemy's information so that you can be mentally prepared. Ouch. Captain, just say it. Our sword is already thirsty. Well. Captain Shano scratched his head and found that there were so many talented people on his ship. Our enemies are. General Marine. Buddha's warring states. And, Hero Garp. And the Buster Call fleet they lead. The crowd was silent at first, and then everyone opened their mouths, but no sound came out. Of course, not everyone reacted this way, there were also newcomers who poked the people around them in confusion. What is Buddha's warring states period, and who is Garp? Buster Call sounds cool. You fool. Don't be so innocent. The person who was poked next to him had not yet recovered from the shock, and was choked by the newcomer's words. He raised his fist angrily to indicate that he was going to hit someone. Ha, ha ha, 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 are you going to experience a battle that will be recorded in history just after getting on the ship? It seems that my choice is very correct. Crocodile said with excitement. He had already thought about this before dealing with such a famous and powerful man. General Marine. We're going to face each other so soon. I'm really trembling with excitement just thinking about it. Shiryu stroked the, thunderstorm, sword on his waist. Ever since the day he went to sea, he had been shocked by Captain Sha Nuo's contempt for the general. He didn't expect to face the general so soon. He also wanted to try it out. What would happen between himself and the general? What a difference. Ha 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 ha. Buster call. There will be a lot of marines. Make them all zombies. Will marines be so angry? Moria also spoke arrogantly, with excitement on his face and no fear at all. Mahak lowered his head, making it difficult to see the expression on his face. But Captain Shano could feel that this guy's expression was out of control and he was laughing. Captain Shiano looked at Evan and choked again. Evan didn't change much, he still looked at Captain Shano feverishly. Hey, it's not good to be too charming, as it affects the work of your subordinates. Captain Shano thought in disgust. Chote was so drunk that he probably didn't even hear what he just said. Ever since he learned that the pirate group had an unlimited amount of delicious wine barrels, except for necessary training, he spent the rest of the time lying next to the barrel. Looking at the performance of the future cadres, Captain Sha Nuo expressed that he was very satisfied. No matter what was going on in his mind, no one was afraid. It was over for being reckless. Hey, what are you afraid of? What a bullshit general, what a marine hero. The captain and boss Mori are here. We just need to clean up those marines. An old crew member in the crowd reacted, looked at the people who were still shocked, and quickly reminded them. Yes, that's right. We don't need to deal with the general. You're so pretentious. I thought I was going to have a passionate fight with the general. Don't look at your own virtues. You can't even defeat a marine ensign. Hey hey hey. What did you say? There is nothing to be afraid of. If we die, let Master Moria turn us into zombies and live forever. Hiss. Looking at the crowd that was getting lively again, Captain Shano nodded. The mobilization effect was quite good. 
In fact, when the fight really breaks out, the ordinary crew members don't need to be on board. But such big scenes are rare. Letting the people under his command fight marine with real swords and guns is considered training. As for the casualties, how can anyone not die in a fight on the sea? Monsters, you can do sit-ups. But for an ordinary crew member, a flash of a sword or a gunshot may sound like a flash, and their splendid life is over. Now that you have chosen this path, just be prepared to leave your life on the sea. Kingdom of Alabasta. A country located in the first half of the Grand Line. A superpower in the truest sense. The standing army alone has 600,000 people. The population exceeds 10 million. I don't know if it's because he appeared too early or because of some unknown issues in history. Among such a huge population base, not many strong people were born. Great countries that are also world famous, such as the giant kingdom Elbath, are known as, the world's most powerful country. The unique combat skills of the giant clan are indeed powerful. If there are many giants who can use the, overlord, moves, then the giant clan's combat power will be even more difficult to estimate. There are also countries such as Wano, which is rich in samurai, and high-end applications of armed colors such as Ryu Sakura are also popular. If you pull out any one of the Red Scabbard 9, even Alabasta will probably not be able to beat him. Even in the daughter country, Amazon Lily, all the people are soldiers, everyone is domineering, and the weapons can be separated from the body and remain attached, which is very scary. So if it wasn't for the abstract reason of appearing too early, it could only be a problem left over from history. Perhaps when the ancient kingdom fell apart, fire was spread across the sea. Alabasta has information about Pluton, Amazon Lily has advanced levels of hockey skills, and Wano has higher levels of hockey skills. Just like passing levels and upgrading, it guides the person of destiny to move forward, keep getting closer to the truth, and keep getting stronger. As one of the oldest kingdoms, it is also one of the 20 royal families in creation, but due to unknown reasons, it did not move to Mariajoya. Could the reason be the reason why Alabasta is big but not strong? Ha <laughs> ha hey hey hey. What a big island. And it's all sand. In the sky far away from Alabasta, two black spots appeared. It is the war fortress and small garden under Captain Shiano's seat. Even from such a long distance, Moria could feel the hugeness of the island in front of him, which was far beyond the comparison of the islands he had seen before. Hey, Lao Sha, do you want to help you move a few sand mountains as a means of attack? Captain Shano also asked Crocodile excitedly. After all, it was a very novel experience to see such an island completely covered with sand for the first time. Ah, I'm so grateful, Captain. Crocodile puffed on the cigar he borrowed from Shiryu, and answered in a calm tone with an expressionless face. But his eyes were fixed on this island, a world completely made of sand, which would inevitably make him, a person with the ability of the sand fruit, feel close to him. Hey, Evan. You and Chote go down to find a store that records pointers and buy all the islands in the sea near Alabasta. The others will stay in the sky, ready for help at any time. Captain Shano gave the latest instructions. He wanted to light up all the surrounding maps, so that he could easily determine the area where bullet might appear. Of course, you can also light up more areas to relieve Captain Shano's obsessive compulsive disorder. The map is black and bright, making Captain Shano want to hit people. Understood. Captain. Hiccup. Got it. Evan and Chote also received orders from the captain. Captain Sean Nuo also had a headache when he looked at Chote. This guy was unambiguous in his training and his talent was visible to the naked eye, but he soaked next to the wine barrel every day. No wonder he got the nickname, Big Wine Barrel. Juju fruit can be regarded as meeting the fateful host. Captain Shano did not hesitate and directly gave the fruit to Chote. Chote was not interested at first, but when he heard that it was wine fruit, he ate it without hesitation, and his loyalty was greatly improved. While thinking about it, on the other side, a big bubble appeared under the feet of Evan and Chote, and the two of them flew up. Then slowly fly out of the range of the war fortress and accelerate downward. After all, in such a high place, in addition to monsters like Kaido who have become saints, there are also players with full physical talents like, Shield. In addition to the excitement, ordinary people can also reincarnate. As for Captain Shano and others, they continued to float in the air to see if they could encounter the bullet or marine fleet. 
Captain Shano does not want to log into the Alabasta Kingdom. This country currently does not have a villain like Crocodile, nor a beauty like Princess Vivi. It is safe and stable. Except for sand, it is sand. The few oases cannot compare with the small garden, so Captain Shano is really not interested. It won't be too late to visit again after Princess Vivi is born. As for the two patron saint fruits inherited from the kingdom of Alabasta, Captain Shano is also not interested. They are just two ordinary animal fruits, no different from the oxen fruit. Hiss, patron saint. Could it be that they are also two hidden species of phantom beasts? Ah, forget it, if so, just think of it as a surprise. Captain Sha Nuo thought for a moment and gave up the idea of grabbing two fruits. First, this situation is just a guess after all, and there is no need to verify it in practice. If it is really a phantom beast species, but if someone recognizes blood, it will be difficult to open it if someone else fails. Sign in. No kidding, if these two guardians who have been passed down from generation to generation can get Captain Shano to sign in, then the title of, the most powerful country in the world, can also be changed to another country. Captain. Oh. It's Mahawk. What's the matter? Mahawk walked up to Captain Shano who was thinking. I already know how to use the advanced weapon color taught a few days ago. I want to learn that move. Captain Sha Nuo also didn't expect that Mahawk's talent was so terrifying. He had just left Winter Island a few days ago and taught them advanced techniques. Some of them didn't even have a clue, but here they all understood it. Mahawk, who has always been arrogant, has become humble and eager to learn. There is no way, who can resist the temptation of becoming stronger. But Mahawk is also thick-skinned, and he doesn't feel at all that this is inconsistent with his aloof persona. Maybe he never deliberately maintained a certain personality, it was just his temperament. Oh. You mean, God's avoidance. That move is not suitable for you. The future, world's greatest swordsman, must have his own unique skills. I'll teach you the principle of, God's avoidance. Okay, you can just cultivate and develop the rest yourself. Captain Shano explained to Mahawk. Watch out. This move is called, Conqueror's Entanglement. The breath of terror spreads high in the sky. Another wave of Conqueror's domineering energy surges up, and he seems to be trying something crookedly. It seems that he is making rapid progress, and I'm afraid it won't be long before he can get started. Teacher Kaido. I seem to understand how you feel. Even Mahawk is like this, let alone Luffy. I guess teacher Kaido also has top-notch teaching abilities. The pirate governor is no worse than you, the marine instructor. Kingdom of Alabasta. The capital is Albana. Your Highness the King. Please go to sea for a while. Just wait until Marine has dealt with that madman, and then you can come back. In the main hall of the royal city, a white-haired old man was painstakingly persuading the man on the throne. On the throne, there is a young man who is only in his twenties, with long black and thick hair, and a small beard on his chin. The whole person looks very energetic. This is the current king of the kingdom of Alabasta, Neferutari Cobra. At this time, Cobra was still a young and promising new king. Because the old king died of illness, he took over his father's throne early. Although Cobra is not very old, he is very considerate in his work. He is also able to speak widely and accept advice with an open mind. With the team of courtiers led by the old king, Cobra took the country into his hands firmly. He advocated the governance concept of, the country is the people, knew how to sympathize with the people, and always considered the interests of the people in advance when governing, so he was deeply loved by the people. The veterans of the Alabasta Kingdom all believe that the kingdom will become more and more prosperous under the leadership of Cobra, which also makes many old people choose to quit the court and live in retirement. The one who was trying to persuade him right now was none other than the first minister of the Alabasta Kingdom. He had been active in the royal court as a confidant since the old king first took office. World government has sent news that Bullet is about to enter the waters of Alabasta. If such a madman who destroys the country and destroys the island enters Alabasta, it will bring unprecedented disaster to this ancient country. Although the world government clearly guarantees that Marine can take Bullet into custody before he logs in, at this life and death moment, you cannot rely entirely on others. The first minister tried hard to persuade Cobra to let him go to sea for inspection instead of staying in the country to take risks. 
But Cobra didn't listen at all. It's impossible to leave. How can I leave my own people and flee alone? I am the king of the country. I must stand with the country. Failure to resist the enemy's invasion is already a serious dereliction of duty. If you are still afraid of absconding, you are really not worthy of being the king. Cobra has heard a lot of people telling him to leave, and he's had enough. Putting tens of millions of people under the enemy's butcher's knife in exchange for your own meager existence. This is more uncomfortable than killing him, the king. The country is the people. If the country encounters a disaster, I will stand in front of the people and die. Cobra's face was serious, showing no fear of death, and his firm words made the ministers present shed tears. A B O. You are old. When my father faced a powerful enemy, you would only stand by his side and fight with him instead of persuading him to escape. Cobra looked at the white-haired old man and said in a gentle tone. I understand what you are thinking, but I am no longer that free and undisciplined prince. I am the king of more than 10 million people in Alabasta. The people love me, and I also need to protect my people. And I will not be better than my father bad. Cobra shifted his gaze again and looked outside the hall, as if looking in the direction where the devil was coming. The old first minister also had tears in his eyes at this moment. Of course he was not afraid of death. He was not afraid when he was young. Now that he was half buried in the ground, he was even more fearless. He had watched Cobra grow up, and he couldn't bear to see this young and energetic new king die like this. He would feel sorry for the old king who passed away. But hearing Cobra's inspiring speech made him feel mixed with joy and sorrow. He was happy that Cobra's courage was not weaker than the old king, but he was worried that the enemy might be too powerful to resist. The old man chose to respect the new king's will, retreated to the queue of ministers, and sat on the chair closest to the throne. Icarum. Cobra shouted loudly to his newly appointed captain of the escort. My king. Electrify the whole country. The country is in a state of emergency. The guards of all cities are ready to join the war. People are evacuated from the city. Take refuge in nearby sparsely populated places. After evacuating the royal capital. The royal capital guards follow me to the coast. If the enemy is coming if you invade my kingdom, you will step over my corpse. Yes. The whole alabasta started to move, and the desert became lively. The desert knows not what the enemy is, but the desert will remember his young king. Even if the world changes and the sea changes, the desert will forget everything, but it will not forget the courage of the young king. There is never a shortage of brave people on the sea. Not all kings will be greedy for life and afraid of death. Not all kings will oppress the people. The king of the Razor Kingdom, even when he stares at death, is filled with the contempt of his superiors. The broken body cannot destroy the king's heart. Young Cobra has the same firm heart as that king. Kindness does not mean weakness, and iron blood does not necessarily mean cruelty. Plan for the country, fight for the people. This is the way to strengthen a country. A certain sea area outside the Alabasta Kingdom. This is the sea area that ships returning from the New World must pass to enter the Kingdom of Alabasta. It has always been calm here, and such good navigation routes have also made a large number of merchant ships willing to go to the Kingdom of Alabasta. The developed maritime trade is one of the reasons for the prosperity of this kingdom. But at this time, the sea that was supposed to be calm became a little depressed, and the waves began to roll. There is a large merchant ship on the sea in the distance, but the entire ship is broken in the middle and is slowly sinking into the sea. There is deathly silence on the ship, and no one seems to want to escape. The sky became low and eerie. Look carefully. There is a small boat near the merchant ship. The boat is not big, but the man standing on it is very tall. The man looked at the sinking merchant ship with a devilish and cruel smile. There was no trace of mercy in his eyes, only contempt for the weak. Depressed aura, exaggerated muscles, devilish smile. It was the man who made the world government personally come forward, caused the marine headquarters to mobilize urgently, and shock the whole country of Alabasta. The devil's spawn, Douglas Bullet. This man entered the waters of Alabasta. Bullet doesn't even remember how many countries he destroyed. Just like a person who steps on ants, he doesn't count how many ants he has stepped on. If this doesn't attract marine. Bullet turned his head and looked in a certain direction. It was exactly where the record pointer was pointing, the location of the Kingdom of Alabasta. 
if we kill all the Neferutari clan, the world government will probably be unable to sit still. Bullet showed a cruel and bloodthirsty smile. Having lost his goal at this time, he only wants to defeat the buster call launched by Marine. Let the world know. He is the strongest in the world. Existence beyond Roger. The merchant ship slowly sank into the sea until the whirlpool caused by the sinking disappeared and no crew member escaped from the merchant ship. It no longer matters what they have experienced, the result of death is already determined. Bullet has also regained his composure from his initial madness, and even had some numbness on his face. Ever since he left the Roger Pirates, he has started to act strangely. He seems to miss the life on the ship. This is not a good change for a beast that is used to walking alone. Bonding means being restrained by emotions. Bullet, who experienced countless betrayals in his early years, has long since completely closed himself off. Even the people he trusted the most eventually betrayed him. This kind of experience made Bullet unable to accept his change. After learning about Roger's death, Bullet's changes became more obvious. The feeling of loss made Bullet very irritable. He thought he only wanted to defeat Roger, but it turned out that this was beyond Bullet's self-hypnosis. Anger, hesitation, sadness, all kinds of complex emotions were intertwined in Bullet's heart. Just like if he wants to become the strongest in the world, he can also go to the new world to challenge Whitebeard and the new group of monsters. But he came against the Great Sea Route, destroying countries and islands along the way, not only to vent his inner anger, but also to anger the world government and trigger a buster call against him. Defeat Marine's buster call. Prove that you are the strongest in the world. Is it to prove that Roger can be arrested by Marine, but he can't? Or is it because of a desire to avenge Roger? As for Bullet, who disembarked after learning that Roger was terminally ill, it is unknown whether he knew that Roger surrendered. Bullet is numb at the moment. He doesn't know why he kills. Killing can make him feel that he is still the, heir of the devil. Roger. After you die, the world becomes boring. Bullet growled angrily. The boat drifts far away alone. Deep into the waters of Alabasta again. Bullet regrouped and prepared to go to the Alabasta kingdom to kill all the Nefertari clan. Call out. Bullet, who is resting with his eyes closed on the boat, suddenly opened his eyes. Purple light flashed in his eye sockets. Turn your head and look in the direction of the sound. Boom. A cannonball accurately landed on the boat and exploded next to Bullet. A big hole was blown out of the boat on the spot and water began to leak. Shinshi. Hit. A naval gunner shouted excitedly. A warship appeared between the sea and the sky. Caught up. This is the vanguard ship of the marine fleet. Don't be complacent. Everyone, pay attention. The enemy is coming. Be prepared to sacrifice your life for justice. The lieutenant general on the ship tightly held the saber in his hand and shouted to the whole ship, not only to remind the young sailors, but also to encourage himself to face an enemy like Bullet alone. It was impossible not to be nervous. Marine. It's finally here. Bullet's eyes widened and he showed a crazy smile, like an evil ghost. I saw Bullet bending his knees and squatting down, using both legs to exert force. Bang. There was an explosion. The boat could not withstand the huge impact and exploded directly, turning into debris and floating on the sea. With the help of powerful thrust, Bullet crossed the sea and headed straight for the warship. Is the sea the nemesis of Devil Fruits? Bullet doesn't care at all. It's absolutely impossible to let him wait to be bombarded. He stepped on the air and rushed forward. Fire. Bang. 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 Cannonballs flew towards Bullet one after another, trying to shoot Bullet down in midair. But contrary to expectations, Bullet nimbly dodged all the cannonballs in the air, and also used the flying cannonballs to readjust his body shape and find a point of strength again. Ready to fight. The lieutenant general's voice sounded again, and the sailors who were cheering just now also swallowed their saliva crazily. Such a long distance had actually been crossed. As Bullet got closer and closer, the oppressive feeling of murderous intent made them breathless. Marine. Pleasure me. Bullet approaches the warship, his fist covered with armed domineering force, as if he is going to sink the warship with one punch. Bang. The Marine Lieutenant General flew out of the warship, the weapon color attached to the blade, and the dark blade light flashed across the sky. What do you think justice is? Boom. A punch and a knife collided next to the warship. 
The shock wave set off knocked the warship crooked, and the sea, which had been calm for a long time, also rolled up huge waves. Lieutenant General Marine gritted his teeth. The huge force coming from his arms made him dare not relax at all. The stalemate continued. Evil ha 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 ha. Is this all you have strength? Bullet laughed wildly, his eyes condensed, and the overwhelming conqueror's domineering force surged out, making the world change color. The conqueror's impact passed by, and less than half of the sailors on the warship lost their minds and fell to the ground. The others gritted their teeth to resist the powerful aura. Bang! Lieutenant General Marine was distracted by conqueror's domineering force. Bullet's fist broke open his knife, and punched the lieutenant general in the abdomen. He flew backwards. It hit the warship so hard that the deck was shattered. Boom. Bullet's huge figure also followed closely, hitting the deck of the warship, with a look of disdain on his unruly face. A marine of this level could not keep him entertained. Come on together. Ants. Bullet looked around, looking at the nervous marines, his scornful eyes oppressing every marine's nerves. Hateful. The marines were furious when they heard this. They were despised by the pirates. This is the greatest insult to justice. Marines attack. Call out. From the big hole that had been smashed by the lieutenant before, that figure flashed out again. Overtaking a group of sailors who rushed up, he slashed at bullet again with his sword. Don't underestimate the power of justice. As the light of the sword flashed by, the lieutenant general's roar also followed the wind. Bullet smiled evilly, stood on the spot, and grabbed the knife with his big hand tightly. Looking into the lieutenant general's eyes, he seemed to be asking, is this it? Lan Zhao. Seeing that his attack was ineffective, the lieutenant general gave up his weapon decisively, flipped in midair, and a huge green light cut through the air and rushed towards Bullet. When Bullet refused to evade, his face was covered with armor, and his face was as black as a demon, and he accepted the attack forcefully. Guess how long you can live? Bullet's ferocious face showed murderous intent. Fighting with a weakling would only make him irritated. He already knew that this lieutenant general was no match for him, and he also lost interest in fighting. He just wants to kill people now. This is pioneer ship number. 2. The target has been encountered. Fierce fighting is taking place. Requesting support. Requesting support. A sailor yelled over the phone. The messenger here hasn't had time to report yet. Call out. A figure wearing a cloak of justice flew away from the warship like a cannonball. Seeing the figure flying away in the air, and listening to the inquiry coming from the phone bug, the orderly soldier came back to his senses and shouted. Please hold on. Lieutenant General Garp will be here soon. On the war fortress. Captain Shiano is explaining to Mahak the techniques and essentials of conqueror's entanglement. Mahak was enlightened. He had been stuck in a bottleneck for a long time, and now a new door opened for him. Conqueror's hockey is different from other hockey. It all depends on the talent and bloodline. It is only one in a million, but more than half of it can be activated. Anyone who can use conquerors in actual combat is already a famous and powerful man on the sea. Mahak, who has just activated conqueror's domineering power, found that conquerors does not greatly improve the actual combat effect. It can only scare the bad fish, and then it is used to show off. For Mahak, it can only be said that the improvement is not very big. This also makes Mahak wonder why the distance between him and Captain Shano has not narrowed even though they both possess Conqueror's Hockey. The Divine Avoidance, that day has been permanently imprinted in Mahak's mind. He has never seen such a terrifying attack. It was not pure swordsmanship. Mahak believes that even without weapons, Captain Shano's attack will not be weak at all. This is a swordsman's intuition, which shows that the source of the power of the divine evasion move does not lie in swordsmanship. Since it doesn't come from swordsmanship, the difference between him and Captain Shano is the lack of conqueror's domineering power, at least that's what Mahak thinks. After awakening conqueror's hockey, Mahak thought that he could destroy the world like Captain Shano, but Mahak discovered that there was a problem. Why couldn't he use it? After thinking hard for several days, I still couldn't figure it out, so I shamelessly asked Captain Shano for advice. As expected, he finally understood the kind of power he longed for, his conqueror's entanglement around him. Evan and Choate relied on the ability of alcohol bubbles to successfully reach the ground from high altitude. Looking at the city in front of him, Evan didn't know the name of the city, and he didn't care. 
he only had the captain's mission in his eyes. The two of them walked quickly toward the sand city against the yellow sand blown up by the strong wind. Everyone be on alert. The kingdom has reached a moment of life and death. Don't be a coward to Lousy. After receiving the order from the kingdom, this sand city decisively evacuated the people in the city and moved to surrounding villages and underground fortifications. Only the escort team was left in the city. At this time, the squad leader of the escort team was patrolling back and forth, stimulating the fighting spirit of the army that had not experienced a war for a long time. Captain. There is a figure in the desert. At this time, a lookout on the observation deck spotted two figures walking from the desert. Are they citizens who are reluctant to part with their property? A soldier below looked up at the observation tower and asked loudly. No. No. Two men. They are about four to five meters tall. The lookout relied on his rich experience and controlled the distance to roughly estimate the height of the two people. There was no way, they didn't look like normal human body shapes, so I don't blame him for deliberately trying to figure it out. The captain's eyes widened and he shouted angrily. Enemy attack. Everyone is ready to fight. Captain, there are only two of them, there is no need to be so nervous. Shut up. Even children can't take it lightly in war. People will die. Artillery preparation. Wait for my order. Hiccup. Lion head, they don't seem to welcome us, hiccup. Choate looked at the heavily guarded town, with more than a dozen cannons pointing their muzzles at the two of them, shook his big nose, and said to Evan. Ah, it looks like you need to see blood, rosacea. Evan's bloodthirsty eyes flashed red, and his sharp teeth were exposed. He said slightly excitedly, asking the lion to trade with the rabbit. Of course the lion wouldn't mind biting the rabbit to death. Choate, who seemed drunk, glanced at Evan who was eager to try, and smelled of rational words. If we take action, we will start a war with this country. Don't we need to ask the captain for instructions? Hey, we are pirates. And, the captain doesn't care about this. Hiccup. If that's the case, then kill them all. Stop. Who are you? During special periods, entry into the city is prohibited. The soldiers shouted. The two of them continued walking towards the town without any pause. Fire. Boom. 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 More than a dozen cannons were fired at the same time, and clusters of shells fell towards the area where Evan and the two were. Roar. Evan's body suddenly expanded. In an instant, he turned into a ferocious and brutal lion, scanning the prey with ferocious eyes. The figure suddenly accelerated and left the area where the shell fell. Choate followed closely behind, his tall figure rising up, rushing towards the crowd like a heavy tank. Musket volley. The sudden outburst of the two shocked the escort, but strict military discipline prevented them from panicking. Under the command of the captain, the soldiers holding muskets walked neatly to the front of the team and lined up in two lines. The first column squatted on the ground and raised their guns, while the latter column stood, and thousands of musketeers opened fire at the same time. Bang 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 bang. So many bullets were fired in a volley, even Evan did not dare to resist, and he exerted force on his legs. He dodged and jumped into the sky. The soldiers also responded accordingly, half of them raised their guns and shot at Evan. Evan had nowhere to hide in the air. He put his arms in front of his body, covered with dark armor, and planned to carry it down. Alcohol bubbles. Choate on the ground shouted, and bubbles floated out of his tall body, and the bubbles flew in front of him and Evan. Puff puff puff. The bullet shot into the alcohol bubbles and stagnated, but the alcohol bubbles did not break. Evan fell from midair and landed on all fours, his muscles tensed up and his fangs fully visible, waiting for the opportunity. Keep firing. Beautiful falls. A purple-red torrent, like a horizontal waterfall, rushed out of Choate's mouth. The wine surged past, leaving a faint aroma of wine. On the sand, the torrent rolled over, most of the bullets were shot down, and the remaining bullets were easily resolved by Evan and Choate. The wine waterfall continued to rush forward, heading straight towards the soldiers, battle formation. Spread out. The guard captain shouted, he didn't know the specific power of this move, but even the impact of water waves would collapse their battle formation, seriously affecting their combat effectiveness. So he decisively ordered to disperse. When the soldiers heard the order, they quickly and without chaos divided into various teams and dispersed. But they still underestimated Choate's moves. It would be so boring if we were just avoided. 
Choate said first, then jumped into the air, and another stream of wine spurted out of his mouth, but it was not as powerful as the previous one, and seemed more like a lead. The winemaker's fire. Flame bursts out. The whole area is on fire. Captain. Evan and Choate, who returned, walked up to Captain Shano. However, the two of them were not as decent as before they left. They were covered in blood, and Evan's mouth was still dripping with blood. Mission accomplished. Captain Sha Nua looked at the two people covered in blood and was a little confused. Is it okay to fight with someone while buying something? Captain. I got everything. Evan replied respectfully to Captain Shano, while Choate drank drunkenly, his eyes blurred and didn't know what to look at. What happened? Captain Shano asked the doubts in his heart. Alabasta has been put under martial law throughout the country. The people have left the city and the city is empty. Only the escort team remains. Evan explained. Choate squinted his eyes, not knowing where he was looking. So you killed all the guards? Yes, Captain. Evan replied calmly, as if he had done an inconspicuous thing. Choate picked up his jug and started to drink wine for himself. Although he had the wine fruit, drinking from the jug was more like a habit and belief. Of course he is not a good person, but he still follows the will of Captain Shano under the protection of others. If he is not allowed to kill, he will have no choice but to put down the butcher knife. Well done, go and rest, the war is coming. Captain Shano didn't even raise his head. Alabasta's attitude was indeed not worth mentioning to him. So what if he's disgusted? The next world conference proposes to put a bounty on him. It sounds like a good idea. Evan nodded, turned and left. Choate followed with a smile. When they were far away, Choate's voice could be vaguely heard. Lionhead. You know the captain very well. Evil ha 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 ha. Marine. Too weak. Bullet's huge fist covered with armed domineering came down. Sawdust flew into the air, the long knife broke upon contact, and several marine soldiers were knocked away by the strong impact. The sailors in the distance raised their muskets and fired at the empty bullet around them. Bang 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 bang. Dang dang dang. The jet black armed color covers the whole body, and under the sunlight, the huge black metal body glows with dazzling light. Like a devil from the dark world. Shave. Lieutenant General Marine, who was covered in wounds, came to the back of Bullet's tall body in an instant with a sound that broke through the air. He raised his right hand and pointed a finger at the back of Bullet's head. Point gun. Boom. The arrogant Bullet was shaken back by this life-threatening impact, and couldn't help but take two steps forward to stabilize his body. After a ferocious beast is injured, it will only become more bloodthirsty and cruel. Scarlet eyes turn to look at the lieutenant general. Conqueror's domineering power explodes. The terrifying pressure is all concentrated on the lieutenant general. The space trembles and the ground trembles. Bullet twisted his waist, exerted force on his thighs, and turned his whole body violently from the left side. A powerful and heavy left hand punch went straight towards lieutenant general marine. The terrifying conquerors and lieutenant general are firmly fixed to death in midair. There is no way to escape. Iron. Die. Bang. Lieutenant General Marine will use the six defensive moves of Marine in desperate situations. A heavy punch hit his stomach. The Lieutenant General clenched his hands and rested them on his waist, using all his strength to activate the iron block. Buzz. After a stalemate for a while, Bullet tried his best again. Uh-huh. First saw the Marine Lieutenant General, his eyes turned white, and he screamed in pain. A mouthful of rich blood spurted out. The whole person flew out. Bang. It hit the deck hard and there was no movement. I don't know whether I am alive or dead. Bullet touched the back of his head, and blood stained his palms. The lieutenant general's close attack, which he risked everything for, obviously worked. Bullet was injured. But at this moment, it seems that the enraged bullet will only become more terrifying. Because no one can stop him. Evil ha 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 ha. Weak sailors, are you ready to practice your justice? Blood flowed from Bullet's face, and his fierce expression was as ferocious as a demon. Bang bang. Bullet twisted his neck, making a clicking sound, and punched each other with two pairs of huge fists. The huge sense of oppression held the sailors in place, as if death was the only thing waiting for them. Buzz. Bullet, who had an unruly expression on his face, suddenly widened his eyes. He turned to look at the sea aside. A white figure was flying across the sea quickly. 
It was faster than when he boarded the warship before. Who is it? Bullet's eyes widened, staring closely at the incoming figure, and his whole body tensed. This is the body's most instinctive reaction. The people who came are very strong. Lousy is just waiting for this. Bullet roared. Overcoming the feedback from the body, Conqueror's domineering power burst out again, and the space became dark and low, as if it was locked by a demon. The momentum as powerful as a volcanic eruption could not stop that figure at all. Seeing that he was getting closer and closer, Bullet flew out. As a person with abilities, he actually wanted to collide with the Comer on the sea. It turns out to be Garp. Die. Seeing clearly who was coming, Bullet clenched his huge fist. The armed color cut through the sky, leaving behind a dark purple stream of light, and rushed straight towards Garp who was skimming the sea. Kid. The sea doesn't let you do whatever you want. Garp's figure quickly approached Bullet. The loud sound shook the entire sea area. Fist bone. Boom. The two met on the sea, and the iron fists clashed with each other with a deafening sound. The strong domineering conflict formed a dark purple airflow, which spread crazily around, bursting out with the terrifying aura. After a brief stalemate, Bullet's arms trembled slightly. He felt that the fist coming from the opposite side was as powerful as a mountain. Bang. Bullet was defeated. He was knocked away by Garp's iron fist. Uh-huh. Blood spurted out of his mouth and sprinkled on the sea. He quickly retreated and hit the cabin on the side of the warship, smashing a big hole. Garp, on the other hand, stopped firmly on the sea, staring closely at the big hole that was made. Evil ha 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 ha. No wonder you can chase Roger on the sea. Only such fists can excite me. Bullet's arrogant voice came from the warship. The voice came out, and Garp, who had experienced many battles, instantly understood Bullet's current state from the voice. Garp, who was still on the sea surface a second ago, disappeared instantly. The ultimate, shaving, makes Garp appear in the cabin instantly. Fist bone impact. Bullet, who was still yelling wildly, felt like he was struck by lightning. He didn't expect that Garp would just hit the target without saying a word. The sight and color made Bullet instinctively defend at the last moment, but in a hurry, how could he possibly block the charging Garp? Boom. Bullet's figure was smashed away again. He smashed directly through the warship. He flew towards the sea from the other side. Bullet gritted his teeth in midair and seemed to be enduring great pain. If you shoot down the sea, the mission will be over. Garp thought to himself. But I saw Bullet's cuff move, and a remote control device appeared in his hand. Bullet flew out and was about to fall into the sea. Suddenly a remote control device appeared in his hand. He pressed it with his thick fingers, and it seemed that the situation was about to turn around. Garp's figure emerged from the large hole that was smashed through the warship, and the sea breeze blew the cloak behind him. The name, Iron Fist, can still suppress the sea. Even if Whitebeard doesn't defend himself and takes a punch from Garp, he will still be miserable for a long time. Looking at the bullet that was about to enter the sea, Garp's brows did not relax at all. If it was so easy to capture him, Marine wouldn't have to go to such great lengths. I saw a shadow suddenly appeared on the sea below bullet, as if a big fish was about to surface. Hey, a submarine. Upon seeing this, Garp also guessed bullet's backup plan. Wow. I saw a giant object emerging on the sea surface, breaking the calmness of the sea and causing waves to spread around. The bullet that was supposed to fall into the sea also hit this object that appeared. If you look closely, you will see that this is a submarine whose entire body is made of hard steel. The surface of the submarine is as dark as ink, as if it is covered with a domineering and armament color. The solid appearance has sharp edges and corners, and it seems that the best streamlines for the vehicle were not considered when it was manufactured. Looking at the size, it's about half the size of a Buster Call warship. As a submarine, its scale is already quite large, much larger than Trafalgar Law submarine. Bullet stood up from the submarine, raised his fist and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. Even though he was hit by Garp one after another, he still looked unruly. Garp. If you want to catch Lousy, just follow him and try. With that said, Bullet opened the cockpit cover of the submarine and jumped in himself. The submarine quickly dived, sank into the sea, and disappeared from sight. Garp's hockey of knowledge can also lock the target. He stepped on the moonwalk and came to the deck. 
Garp looked around and saw a fierce battle on the deck. Many sailors were bleeding and the vice admiral captain of the warship was also unconscious. But Garp was too late to take care of the wounded, and that's not what he was here for. Where's the helmsman? Pursue in this direction. Garp shouted to the helmsman, raised his right hand, pointed in a direction, and asked him to pursue bullet on this course. The ship's doctor quickly treats the seriously wounded. The rest of the crew should not relax. The battle is not over yet. Under Garp's supervision, the vanguard ship began to redeploy, and the remaining force was less than half. Even so, the sailors had no intention of retreating. The power that faith sometimes brings can overcome all fears. A dilapidated warship clung to Bullet's submarine, pursuing it all the way, riding the wind and waves. Blue, blue, brew. Click. I am Garp. I have rushed to the number two vanguard ship. Bullet retreated in the submarine and is pursuing. Bullet has been injured by me and General Zuobo Yamanaka. Got it, the fleet has gathered up and will be arriving soon. Warring States hung up the phone in his hand, and his frown finally relaxed a little. Half of Bullet's capture plan has been completed, and the remaining half is to defeat him and take him into custody, which will make it easier for the Warring States period. With the current strength of the Marine fleet, dealing with Bullet is like a cannon against a mosquito. Not counting Sengoku and Garp, there are nine lieutenant generals. Only five lieutenant generals set out from the Marine headquarters. During the voyage, lieutenant generals from five branches joined with their own fleets. And General Zuo Bo Yamanaka, who injured Bullet, was a lieutenant general in the branch. In terms of strength, he was even worse than the lieutenant general in the main branch. With such strength, it is possible to go to New World and take down the recently emerged beast pirates. Not to mention a lone ranger like Bullet. As for the reason for such a big war, it is also due to the pressure of the world government. Military expenditures are controlled and we have to do what they want. Bullet is not about escaping, but about choosing a suitable battlefield. Before, he thought it was just a passing warship. But the moment Garp appeared on the sea, Bullet knew. What he wanted to destroy the country and the island these days was here. Buster Call. As a Devil Fruit user, it would be unwise to start a battle with the Marine Generals on the sea. So Bullet chose to stay away from the limelight and find a suitable stage to welcome this grand performance. The submarine slowly surfaced, and an uninhabited desert island appeared in sight. The desert island was big enough to support a war involving tens of thousands of people. Evil ha 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 ha. What a perfect stage. Come on. Garp. Come and try to defeat me. Bullet stood on top of the submarine, looked back at the broken warship that was clinging to it, and roared loudly. With that said, Bullet jumped onto the island and carried the huge steel submarine onto the island. Call out. Fist bone impact. Garp, who has been chasing, has been patient for a long time. It is difficult for him to take action under the sea, but now is the time for justice to be carried out. The snow white cloak sailed across the sea, causing a wave. Bullet showed an evil smile and threw the submarine aside. The face exerts force, and the ferocious facial features become more ferocious. Try my new move. Devil form. Bullet's entire body turns dark blue, except for his brutal scarlet eyes. This is the ability of Bullet's fusion fruit. Fusion of hockey with oneself. This can be said to be a method of using hockey that no one except Bullet uses. Integrating Conqueror's hockey, Armed Color hockey, and Wisdom Colored hockey into the body, all attacks are accompanied by Conqueror's and Armed Color. All the enemy's attacks will be turned into instinctive predictions. Take your strength to another level. Die. The Blue Devil and the White Justice collide on the desert island. Boom. 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 The ground on the desert island was broken every inch, and strong winds shook the surrounding sea. Bang. For a moment, the two of them couldn't distinguish between superior and inferior, and each took a step back. Evil ha 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 ha, Garp. Ah. Bullet took a step back and looked at Garp who was also retreating. Just as he was about to taunt, Bullet hit him again with a steel fist. At this moment, Garp didn't say a word, he just smashed Bullet to death. Bullet got punched once again for being careless. But the devil form is indeed powerful. Even though Bullet doesn't know what Conqueror's Entanglement is, he combines Conqueror's Hockey and Armed Color Hockey. Still extremely powerful, with a vague shadow of Ba Tang, even if he was punched hard, he would just vomit a mouthful of blood. Ah, 
guy. Bullet was also angry, stopped talking nonsense, and began to move his hands faster. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. In the blink of an eye, the two of them had exchanged dozens of punches. Even if Bullet activated his devil form, he still felt a little unable to bear it. I really underestimate you. Garp. Although Bullet was talking this time, his attention was completely focused on Garp, and he gained wisdom every time he learned something. Then. Let's enter the next form. Bullet suddenly retreated. He jumped next to the submarine he threw on the ground and put a hand on it. Combined. Combined. Purple fluid material emerged from Bullet's hand and then flowed to the steel submarine next to it. Evil ha 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 ha. Garp. This is not just a submarine. There are all kinds of weapons in it. Are you ready to be baptized by gunfire? Bullet looked confidently and crazily at Garp, who was standing with his hands down. Garp twisted his neck and seemed eager to try. Kid, you are far worse than Roger. Garp said the most hurtful words calmly, but this was Garp's truest feeling. Roger becomes one piece and will not be treated with Buster Call. And in order to prove that he is better than Roger, Bullet destroyed the country in order to attract Buster Call. Cruel. Childish. Garp had no desire to talk to Bullet. For such a madman, beating him to silence forever is the best explanation for this C. Click. 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 After Bullet's transformation was completed, a large robot with a height of 20 meters appeared. On the robot's body were cannons of various calibers. Don't tell me about Roger. Suffer death. Bullet's furious voice came from inside the tall and mighty steel robot. Bullet steps forward. His huge body makes his speed slow down. The power gained from speed. Still vulnerable. Kid. Garp is not afraid of the oncoming giant. He rushed forward directly from the front. The cloak of justice rustles. Rich armed domineering energy is instilled into Garp's iron fist. The unparalleled powerful aura makes the space vibrate. Terrifying black lightning flashed, wrapped around the iron fist, and the surrounding air was squeezed, making a crackling sound. He has achieved this level just by relying on his armament and domineering, and his aura is no worse than Conqueror's entanglement. Boom. Two fists, one big and one small, exploded in the air on the desert island. The violent collision distorted the space. The sky and the earth were dim, and only the domineering energy leaked out crazily. Blue and black domineering energy intertwined, and lightning disappeared and appeared, shaking the entire area. A huge shock wave swept over. The dilapidated warship docked on the edge of the desert island was hit, and the already dilapidated mast broke directly. Get out of the way. The sailors on the ship fled for cover. The mast was broken and the warship was blown away from the coast. The sailors were blown away with the warship and could only wait to dock again. Well, Bullet was shocked to find that even in this state, he could not shake Garp's iron fist. The huge steel arm was shaking constantly, as if it was destroyed from the inside by a terrible force. A power that is so powerful that it makes people powerless. Just like Roger. Bullet's eyes flashed fiercely, and his scarlet eyes were full of cruelty. Buzz. The wrestling between the two is not over yet. Bullet's steel giant actually has cannon muzzles exposed on its body. Garp also frowned when he saw it, but he couldn't back away from the situation at this moment. Die. Bullet's eyes widened with anger, his expression was ferocious, and he roared like a bloodthirsty beast. Boom boom boom. Intensive artillery fire exploded in front of Bullet. A sea of fire formed in midair, and Garp's figure was swallowed up by the rich flames. Lieutenant General Garp. The sailors watching the battle from a distance shouted eagerly. The sailors couldn't imagine being at such a close distance and enduring so much artillery fire. Die. 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 Bullet looked like a madman and shouted crazily. Boom boom boom. The fierce artillery fire did not stop at all and it seemed that they would not be reconciled until all the stored artillery shells were fired. Artillery fire exploded all over the sky, and the sea of fire swallowed up half of the sky. Evil ha 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 ha. Bullet laughed wildly. Suddenly he felt that the fist he punched had lost its resistance. Someone like Garp will definitely not be eliminated by these artillery fire. Bullet immediately judged that Garp had changed his offensive. Two huge iron hands were recovered and prepared to defend. In the sea of fire, Garp's figure suddenly flew above the sea of fire. The extreme speed caused a wave in the sea of fire. 
I saw Garp at this moment. His general uniform, which was originally as white as snow, was now covered with dust. His cloak of justice was also scorched in several places. There were several bloodstains on his resolute face, and the bloodstains on the corners of his mouth were also very eye-catching. Garp's figure is a bit awkward, and even if he is carried down with his armed domineering force, he won't feel very comfortable. Garp jumped into the air with a serious and terrifying expression, the flames were burning below, and the iron fist charged up again. By merging with the huge steel submarine, Bullet gained more power, but correspondingly, it also lost its agility and flexibility. Fist bone impact. Garp's body exploded again, and the air was exploded with the ultimate, shaving. The sound of explosions came from the sky, and exploded along with the still exploding artillery fire. He anticipated Garp's attack, but his huge and bloated body was unable to defend himself in time. Before the two huge steel hands could reach their position, Garp's iron fist had already hit the giant's head. Bullet has no choice but to focus all his armor on the head of the steel giant. Because the location of Bullet himself is exactly the head of this steel giant. Boom. There was another violent impact and explosion. Aha. Uh -huh. Bullet coughs up blood again. He doesn't understand. Why, despite being separated by such thick steel and coupled with the defense of the combined domineering force, he still gets hurt immediately. Isn't it really Garp's rival? Garp is Roger's old rival, so I still can't keep up with Roger. But killing is not necessarily better than the person being killed. The originally huge steel giant was hit hard by Garp's iron fist, and his steel head tilted, as if a man had his neck broken. Garp succeeded with one blow and did not relax at all. He fired out a series of iron fists. It seemed that he planned to take down Bullet in one go. The steel giant actually stopped moving for a moment and was no longer anxious to defend. The sea of fire continued to burn on half of the iron giant's body. Garp, who was attacking fiercely, did not notice what was happening under the sea of fire. At this time, in the lower body of Bullet's steel giant, the previously purple fluid material appeared again. The entire lower body seemed to be dissolved by the purple fluid, forming a large mass that was flowing crazily. The iron giant, who had been passively beaten and whose head was about to explode, suddenly opened his mouth. A large caliber cannon that had been fully charged was revealed inside. The moment it appeared, Garp had no time to react, and a shocking explosion sounded. Garp's domineering armed color instinctively bursts out and covers the body to reduce the damage caused. The huge flames caused by the explosion engulfed Garp again. But before the flames dissipated, the purple fluid material rolled with steel residue, broke through the sea of fire below, and rushed straight towards Garp. The steel head that had just fired the cannon turned into the same purple fluid as the steel giant's upper body, and rushed towards Garp like a building collapsing. The two fluids go up and down to wrap Garp in. Bullet fusion fruit ability activates. The purple fluid material rushed in and instantly enveloped Garp, who was still resisting the impact in the flames. The dazzling firelight disappeared instantly, and the sea of fire below also burned out. Garp and Bullet were also missing from the sky. Only a huge steel ball appeared there, and the steel ball fell from the sky. Boom. The terrible weight fell from a high altitude, smashing a huge pit into the ground of the desert island. Hey. What is that? Where is Lieutenant General Garp? Is, defeated. Fart. How could Lieutenant General Garp be defeated? Roger is being chased and beaten by Lieutenant General Garp, how can his crew be the opponent of Lieutenant General Garp? On the warship that was blown away by the aftermath of the battle between the two men, the sailors observed the battle situation with binoculars. The sailors could no longer understand the situation on the battlefield and started talking about it. At this time, a signal soldier and a telephone bug who had already dialed stood beside a lookout. Phone bug wears square glasses and has his signature goatee. It proves that the person on the other end of the phone is none other than the warring states general. Signal soldiers and lookouts objectively described the scenes they saw so that the warring states generals could make accurate judgments. Garp is careless. Sengoku on the other end of the phone heard the reports from the sailors and knew that Garp had been plotted by Bullet, but the problem was not serious because the fleet was about to arrive. Even if Roger is resurrected, he can't save Bullet. Warring State's heart, which had been tense for a long time, finally relaxed again. Stable. 
an area on the surface of the huge steel ball turned into a purple fluid substance, and Bullet's figure emerged from it. After Bullet escaped from the huge ball, he quickly retreated. The remote control device appeared in his hand again. And Garp, who is still trapped inside, is also looking for a way to break the situation. Bang. 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 There was only a sound of metal being beaten, and fist marks were highlighted on the surface of the giant steel ball. In just a short period of time when Bullet left, the entire giant steel ball swelled and seemed to be about to burst from the inside. Die. But Bullet didn't give Garp a chance to breathe. He pressed the remote control device in his hand hard. This is Bullet's pre-designed self-destruction program. The amount of explosives can blow up an entire steel submarine to pieces. As the remote control device was pressed, the giant steel ball in the distance suddenly began to shake violently. It seemed that majestic power was about to burst out. The giant ball quickly turned red. Like a ball of violent magma. The steel seemed to be burned. The dazzling red color seemed like there was an extra sun on the ground. Boom. In an instant, the powerful explosion caused a violent shock wave, stirring up the sea again. There is a line of magma rising into the sky at the location of the giant ball. With billowing smoke, it forms a mushroom shape in midair. Just like the doomsday scene of a volcanic eruption, the nearby ground was also blown up, and the area of the crater expanded again. Inside, there was a red fluid flowing in which steel was melted into liquid by high temperature. Fire was everywhere, it was like a hell on earth. The sailors on the warship had already been shocked by the horrific explosion scene, and now they were looking for Garp in a panic. There, a marine yelled excitedly. Bullet on the desert island also noticed that place. The place where the giant ball originally existed has turned into scorched earth, leaving only an oval pillar about a person's height standing there. It is covered with steel that has cooled and solidified, and the steel is crooked to prove that it has been boiling just now. Click. A crack appeared. Bullet's arrogant brows also frowned. Boom. Steel is flying. Garp's figure appears there. The jet black armed color of the whole body is domineering, reflecting the sun and reflecting the shining black light. Is it intact? No, an explosion of this magnitude cannot be completely fine. Bullet roared in his heart, but clenched his fists tightly. It showed that his heart was not peaceful at this moment. There are so many dirty tricks. Bullet. Your courage is much worse than Roger's. Garp's hoarse voice sounded. He spit out a mouthful of blood as he spoke. Garp is injured. He doesn't have a perverted physique like Kaido and Linlin. Lin. His defense all relies on his ultimate armed domineering. But at the center of such a violent explosion, even though the armed hockey helped him withstand most of the impact, the violent vibrations also traumatized Garp's internal organs. It can be said that Bullet's strategy was successful. This move caused Garp to consume a lot of energy. But that alone is not enough. What nonsense are you talking about? Not as good as Roger is the last thing Bullet can hear. Hearing this, he once again entered the devil form. He violently attacked. The afterimage of the dark blue domineering light hung in the air. Even though Garp was injured, he didn't show any signs of weakness and stood up to face the attack. Bang 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 bang. The two people rushed in front of them and fought violently. In the blink of an eye, they had already exchanged hundreds of punches. Wood big wood big wood big wood big. Bullet completely ignored defense and smashed his fist at Garp with pure and brutal force, roaring. Garp responded with gestures and remained silent. Boom. Garp's iron fist hit Bullet's abdomen again. Bullet's expression instantly distorted and there was an obvious dent in his abdomen. But Bullet also seized the opportunity and punched Garp in the face. The two of them stopped for a moment, then both flew away. Wow. Using their legs as plows, Bullet and Garp each made two deep marks on the ground. Garp. Your fist has become soft. Are you going to die? Bullet, who was beaten until he was vomiting blood, was still as tough as steel, yelling and teasing Garp. Garp stood up straight, wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and snorted coldly. Bullet. Let's capture him without mercy. You have no chance to escape. After Garp finished speaking, he ignored Bullet, turned around, and left on the moonwalk, landing on the broken warship that was blown away. The trapped beast is still fighting, Bullet is destined to be arrested, there is no need for Garp to fight Bullet to the end, otherwise the existence of the large fleet will be wasted. Watching Garp leave, Bullet stood alone on the island, 
looking further away. The sky and the sea seemed to be intertwined there, and several black spots appeared on the line where the sky and the sea met. Bullet's eyes widened suddenly. They were all warships. As the black spots slowly get bigger. 9. Including the broken one, there are 10 warships in total. Buster Call Fleet. Bullet's lonely figure stands on the desert island. What came towards him was a large fleet composed of Marines high-level combat forces. It seems that I can already feel that there is a tyrannical aura on every warship. Even though all his cards are lost at this moment, Bullet still doesn't know what fear is. Come on, Marine. Lousy is going to sink you all into the sea. Bullet's ravings spread throughout the sea. On the flagship of the Grand Fleet, Sengoku's goatee was fluttering in the wind. The sun shone on his face, and the lenses reflected the light, making it difficult to see his eyes clearly. Warring states expressionlessly took out a phone bug from his arms, a golden phone bug. I am General Sengoku. I launch a buster call on the target, Douglas Bullet. Attack indiscriminately. Until the target loses the ability to resist. Buzz. 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 On the remaining nine warships, the silver telephone bug issued a chilling alarm. Buster call. Activated. Great root. Off Alabasta. The calm sea is particularly chaotic today. Few. 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 On the sea, ten warships were lined up. Fierce artillery fire keeps pouring. The buster call fleet launches an offensive towards Bullet. The cannon cannot kill Bullet, but it can consume his physical strength and reduce the losses during subsequent captures. At this time, Bullet is on a desert island with no place to hide. The cannonballs are pouring down like a violent storm, and the large shells leave Bullet with nowhere to hide. Bullet exits the devil form. This mode consumes a lot of physical strength and domineering energy. It is a bit of a waste just to resist the cannonballs. The fusion fruit was activated again, and the rocks on the desert island began to be swallowed up by Bullet's fruit ability. The dark purple fluid spread out, and a large number of rocks were carried away, turning into Bullet's thick armor. The cannonballs fell on the rock armor, and the explosive stone fragments flew into the air. The power was not enough to break through the rock's defense, but a large number of cannonballs were enough to blast the rocks to pieces. Bullet had no choice but to keep using the fusion fruit to cover himself, and was forced to be beaten cruelly. Take the initiative. One Garp almost shot him down into the sea, plus a general and nine lieutenants. He didn't think he could successfully land on the warship. The submarine that was originally used as a secret weapon was also consumed in the previous battle with Garp. At this moment, Bullet was completely alone and could only be forced to take the shot. Marine, on the other hand, had the attitude of not stopping until all the shells were fired. Bullet didn't know how long it had been. He only knew that he hadn't used the fruit's ability like this for a long time. The rocks along the coast of the desert island were all absorbed by him using the fruit's ability to serve as a shield. The constant explosions and vibrations consumed Bullet's considerable physical strength. The sound of marine cannons stopped at some point. Is it lit? Bullet raised his tired eyes and looked at the sea in the distance. First saw the marine fleet, which had always kept its distance from the deserted island, now ten warships marching together, riding the wind and waves. A tall figure stood on the bows of the ten warships, full of momentum. Bullet could even see that they were confident of winning, and they also showed contempt for him. Even General Zuobo Yamanaka, who had just woken up, was still standing proudly on the bow with a bandage on his body. Hateful. Looking at the scene in front of him, Bullet was furious. The marine fleet in the distance was huge, but there were not many who could serve as opponents. There might only be one or two lieutenant generals from the headquarters, plus Garp and Sengoku. But they came together, and Bullet knew that he had no chance of winning against such an enemy. This made Bullet, who believed in going it alone, angry and powerless. Was it really that I was wrong? No. It must be because I'm not strong enough. Then let's practice with this group of marines. Let them be the stepping stones on the road to becoming the strongest. Bullet roared angrily and mobilized all his remaining domineering energy and physical strength. Buzz. Dark blue domineering energy clung to his whole body, and only rage and murderous intent remained in his scarlet eyes. Die. Bullet's figure flashed, and his extreme speed made it impossible for ordinary sailors to catch him. Call out. A figure leapt high on the flagship. 
General. Buddha's warring states. When. It seemed that the melodious voice of Hong Zongdalu came from the sky. Golden light shines in the sky, and the white figure of the warring states period rapidly expands. The sacred golden color adheres to the whole body, and instantly turns into a majestic golden Buddha. Everyone's fruit, fantasy beast species, big Buddha form. The warring states period did not rely on bullies. They first used all the cannonballs to consume Bullet's physical strength, and then took the lead personally, not giving Bullet any chance to make a comeback. Looking at Bullet, who was charging all the way, with his iron fist already blasted out, Buddha of the Warring States period raised his huge Buddha palm. Buddha's impact. A shock wave so strong that you can see its shape hits Bullet. Bullet's domineering fist met this shock wave. Boom. A strong shock wave is not a single point punch to punch attack, but a huge shock wave that saturates the area covered. Bullet was not only resisted by the shock wave, but his entire body rushed into the impact range. The strong impact made all the bones in his body creak. Uh huh. After going through the battle with Garp, and withstanding all the firepower of Buster Call, that was enough firepower to destroy an island country. At this time, Bullet had very little physical strength and domineering left. Facing a general in his prime. It is already difficult to resist. Bullet's figure was twisted and squeezed under the shock wave, with a ferocious face. Boom. A stream of blood was sprinkled in the air, and Bullet flew backwards again. It landed heavily on the desert island, and the dark blue domineering power faded away on its own. Bullet climbed up with difficulty, his legs trembling and wobbling, his teeth gritting loudly, and he tried his best to stabilize himself. Phew. Phew. Sounds of breaking through the air sounded one after another, and when Bullet raised his head again, ten figures had already landed on the island, standing there like ten pillars of heaven. The pirate game is over, kid. A lieutenant general from the headquarters looked at Bullet indifferently. He is also one of the key players in chasing Roger all year round, and has also fought against Bullet several times. Ahem. Don't think you are sure to win. Bullet kept vomiting blood from his mouth, and his arrogant expression did not diminish at all. He was Douglas Bullet. He grew up on the battlefield. How could such a person surrender to the enemy? Dragging his body close to the limit, Bullet once again crazily squeezed the strength and domineering power in his body. Boom. Forced into devil form. Bullet in desperate situation breaks out again. Evil ha 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 ha. Marine. The game is not over yet. Facing the ten figures in front of him, Bullet decisively ignored the existence of the other nine lieutenant generals. He only had one goal in his eyes. General. Warring states. Die. A thunderous roar exploded on the desert island, and dark blue lightning suddenly appeared around Bullet's body. An overwhelming attack came with the combined domineering power. The scarlet eyes left a blood-red shadow, and the dark blue devil body headed straight for the warring states period. What greets Bullet is the golden Buddha with shining golden light. The strongest punch. Buddha's impact. Boom. The two people's attacks were stalemate in the air. Bullet seems to have improved his use of domineering to a new level. Phew. 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 The remaining lieutenants set off one after another. Catching pirates is not a duel. There is no reason for so many lieutenants to travel halfway across the grand route to watch the show. The sword flashed and the shadow flashed. It brought out pieces of blood. A pair of iron fists struck down, causing Bullet's body to twist and deform. Bang. Warring states threw his last punch, stood up with his hands closed, and exited in the form of a giant Buddha. The other lieutenant general stopped. Bullet's figure lay on the ground, no longer having the strength to stand up. Devil's descendant, Douglas Bullet was successfully captured. Sengoku announced the results of Buster Call. It's over. Warring states let out a sigh of relief. This frightening pursuit was finally over. No matter what the process was, the result was always good. Close your eyes and enjoy the sea breeze blowing by. It seems that the wind carries the breath of victory. Raise your head and feel the bright sunshine. Huh. Why is it so dark? Warring states opened his eyes again, and a huge cloud appeared in the sky. His pupils shrank suddenly. It was an island. An island floating in the sky. This kind of ability is so familiar. I have fought with the Golden Lion for many years, and I am shocked every time I see the ability of Piao Piao fruit. Finally can't help but make a scene. 
Sengoku's nickname is, Wise General. As the recognized successor of Fleet Admiral, with such distinctive abilities, not only Sengoku, but also everyone who participated in the meeting on the undersea great prison defection event immediately knew who it was. Guilty Warden, Sha Nuo. Are you prepared? Or are you just as crazy as Golden Lion and Bullet? Garp stood beside Sengoku, arms folded in front of him, staring closely at the island in the sky. I thought that after the Golden Lion was imprisoned in the Great Prison, he would never see such an ability to move mountains and seas again, but he didn't expect that the ability of the suspected Piao Piao fruit would reappear soon. What's his goal? Hunt Marine. Defeat Buster Call. Or Bullet. Warring states rationally analyze the reason why Sha Nuo appeared here. Coming. A figure flew out from the island in the sky. It landed on the ground at an extremely fast speed. Her black hair was fluttering in the wind, she was grinning unabashedly, showing her white teeth, her aura was unbridled, and her whole person was like an unsheathed sword. Hey. General of the Warring States period. Hello. Sha Nuo's figure appeared in front of the Marine Generals, grinning widely, as if he was greeting old acquaintances. Ding. If, Buddha's Warring States, is detected, you can sign in. Ding. Marine Hero, Garp is detected and can be signed in. Ding. Do you want to sign in? Captain Shano grinned even wider. Sign in. Captain Shano thought silently in his heart. Get, everyone fruit, fantasy beast species, big Buddha form. Get the ultimate armed color domineering. Get the top six marine styles. Acquire the ability to return life. Acquire conquerors, knowledge color, and armed color domineering upgrades. Achieve a significant increase in physical strength. Captain Sha Nuo was extremely excited at the moment. He felt so happy when he suddenly became rich in front of others without the other party knowing about it. Crime Warden, Sha Nuo, the mastermind of the Impel Down defection incident, has a bounty of 150 million belly. Did he actually come to your doorstep? A branch lieutenant general clearly stated Sha Nuo's reward, but he did not know Sha Nuo's specific strength. No, it should be said that with the 10 people standing here now, it would be difficult for Whitebeard to escape unscathed even if he came by himself. Why did you defect and become a pirate? What is your purpose here? Warring states looked seriously at the escaped young man in front of him. Not long ago, they were fighting in the same camp, but now they are on opposite sides. Ah, it's just because the world government is rotten, and the scenery on the sea is more free. Sha Nuo talked to himself, and warring states didn't care about the reason for his defection. In the face of the established facts, there was no need to care about reasons. Sengoku's question was just to give the marine fleet time to adjust. What he didn't know was that Sha Nuo was also digesting the news in his heart. In order to deal with Bullet, ten warships were gathered together. Because Bullet does not have long-range large-scale attack methods, it can form a dense firepower network and focus the fire without thinking. But now, Sha Nuo, who has the suspected ability of Piao Piao fruit, no matter what kind of strange ability it is, but looking at the islands in the sky, he knows that if the islands fall, he can destroy the dense fleet in an instant. Most of the sailors who came with the Buster Call fleet had experienced hundreds of battles and had participated in the capture of various powerful pirates. Moreover, there were a large number of major generals and lieutenants on board. They were also aware of the changes in the situation. Sha Nuo's air force the moment the island appeared, the fleet began to change its formation. What's the purpose? Why did you appear in front of Buster Call? Warring states asked sternly again, still trying to buy time for the fleet to evacuate. The other lieutenant generals understood and did not choose to take action immediately. They seemed to be willing to listen to a defector telling his story. For the purpose, you can leave Bullet to me. He is a very capable subordinate. With a bright smile, Captain Shano explained the reason that surprised all the marines present. I'm afraid that won't work, but since you're here, let's stay with him. Seeing that the fleet was almost evacuated, warring states stopped talking nonsense and directly broke out and took action. Garp and others also showed their fierceness, and the sense of oppression brought by the combat power of the 10 marine senior executives was full. Hey, hey, it's too much for so many people to hit me. Captain Sha Nuo quickly stretched out his hands and shook them in front of him, strongly protesting against the other party's bullying behavior. 
Although he was strong, the feeling of being beaten was really unpleasant. The lieutenants are not going to talk nonsense. The armed domineering energy on the saber has been attached, and it seems that it will cut on Sha Nuo's neck in the next second. Ha 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 ha. How could you be allowed to interfere with the captain's battle? Most of the deserted island was in the shadow of the sky fortress, and the shadows on the ground suddenly began to surge like spring water. As Moria's strange and sharp voice fell, four figures appeared behind Captain Shano. Mahawk. Moria. Shiryu. Crocodile. Shiryu of Ron and Super Rookie Crocodile. The eyes under the warring state's lenses are more serious. Can a rebellious existence like Crocodile be subdued? If he takes away Bullet, the situation will only become more complicated. Are the other two figures newcomers? The aura is not weak, and the appearance is like this. They are another troublesome ability user. This is the new ability developed by Moria by combining the Shadow Fruit and the abilities of the Shadow Core. Like the soldiers of the Shadow Core, they can freely shuttle through the shadows, but the range is limited, but it is also a must-have for raids. Skill. Garp. Join me and take down Sha Nuo. Two of the others will deal with each other, let's fight quickly. Warring states looked at the group of powerful young people in front of him and knew that they had extraordinary potential. If they could not capture them today, they might need to invest ten times more force in the future to capture them all. So the siege was against the enemy. The greatest recognition of talent and strength. Don't worry. My crew hasn't arrived yet. Captain Shano said unhurriedly. There are still enemies in the sky. Garp looked up keenly. Five huge burning great fireballs. Coming at them like meteorites. Boom boom boom. Bang bang bang. The fireball hit the ground, raising a large amount of dust, and the sound of bubbles bursting could be heard in the dust. Before the ashes dispersed, five huge figures stood upright. The exaggerated size shocked the marines, and their condescending eyes revealed full of fighting spirit. That's. Red Ogre, Brigi. Blue Ogre, Tori. And, three giant creatures. Sorry everyone. My people are all here, can we start the fight? Then, what kind of monster is that? The sailors on the warship have not yet recovered from the shock. We have obviously won, but why do so many enemies appear again? There is a buster call fleet with a general. Even if it is placed in the new world, those monster pirates will stay far away and will not get close. Someone would actually attack the Buster Call fleet. And what are those five huge figures? Giants. But what are those three giant orangutans? On a desert island, the two parties are in a stalemate. On the marine side, most of them have a standard general build, about three meters tall. The pirate group on the opposite side has a huge difference in stature. Captain Sha Nuo, who is the least tall, took the lead, with his hands behind his head, looking at warring states and others indifferently. Behind Captain Chiano were his grotesque and violent men. Ha 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 ha. Captain. Leave Garp to me. Moria spoke confidently and took the initiative to fight the superior horse on the opposite side. HMPH. X3. Crocodile and Shiryu chewed their cigars and glanced at Mariah. The name of a person, the shadow of a tree. Anyone with some knowledge on the sea knows about Garp's strength. Sengoku only has more say than Garp because of his position. But, king against king, against general. Captain Shano's opponent must be the number one figure in the Grand Fleet. In addition, there are exactly ten people in the pirate group, which means that whoever can match Garp will be the default number two of the pirate group. The other people would not give up such an opportunity to Moria so easily. Especially Shiryu, he will not admit that Mariah is above him. Ah, don't worry, Mahak, you go and hold off Garp. As for the rest of you, it's up to you who can finish off his opponent first. It's what I asked for. Captain Shano made his decision, which also means that Mahak is recognized by Captain Shano, the first person under the captain. Compared to Moria's offer just now, after Captain Shano chose Mahak, although the other three had ideas, they did not say more because Mahak was indeed stronger than them. Are you being underestimated by a bunch of brats? The lieutenant generals heard the undisguised voices of the pirates, but they didn't expect that these brats only had Garp and Sengoku in their eyes, and didn't take them, the lieutenant generals, seriously at all. Stop telling these nonsense. Justice is not yours to act arbitrarily. Sengoku's domineering roar mixed with conquerors made several members of the pirate group fall silent. 
Why can a marine have such power as conquerors? Shiryu felt the oppression in the air, and his heart roared with anger. Sengoku is also the only marine confirmed to have conquerors hockey so far. Justice reigns over the world. Their courage is no less powerful than that of the sea kings who rule the new world. The words of the warring states period are the signal for the beginning of this war. Golden light began to burst out in Zanguo's body. The size was also increasing rapidly. A giant Buddha with a serious face and a solemn appearance appeared. Several giant creatures were instantly eclipsed in front of this golden Buddha, and seemed to be vulnerable in front of the Buddha. Young ones. It's time to get. The rest of the people also used their domineering energy to lock in their own targets. Crocodile was still sensing the auras of these lieutenant generals, but suddenly found that only the injured Zuobo, General Yamanaka, was not locked. Ha! What do you mean by leaving the one who looks the weakest to him? Before he could say anything, the two parties had already charged forward, each facing his opponent. For a moment, swords flashed, swords flashed, and roars continued. Crocodile could only choose to rush towards General Zuobo Yamanaka with a look of resentment. Now he just wants to quickly deal with this marine and then challenge Garp. In the middle area vacated by everyone's tacit understanding, a golden Buddha stood solemnly. The dazzling golden light and powerful aura made it full of oppression. Captain Sha Nuo, on the other hand, was unhurried. He had just signed up Sengoku and Garp, and his physical fitness had been greatly improved, giving him the confidence to face a protracted battle with powerful enemies. And. Buzz. Captain Shano's body suddenly burst into golden light. His size also began to slowly increase. Nani. Warring state's solemn and solemn face showed a shocked expression. If the ability of Piao Piao fruit can only be expressed by suspicion, then the ability shown by Sha Nuo at this moment, he can be sure that this is his fruit ability. Everyone was also attracted by another golden light in the middle of the battlefield, and then their jaws dropped in shock at the sight in front of them. Two giant Buddhas. Ha 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 ha. As expected of the captain. It's just a little too bright. Copying other people's abilities. Is it an unknown power or some kind of fruit ability? The ability of the Piao Piao fruit. There is also the ability of the warring states general. Do you really have two abilities at the same time? Everyone has their own thoughts. The golden light shone, and the figure reached more than 20 meters. Captain Sha Nuo felt that this was not the limit. If you want, you can go even bigger. At this time, Captain Shano's transformation ended. I saw a golden giant as huge as Buddha's warring states appeared. But the difference is that the image of the Buddha in the warring states period is more dignified, like the Buddha who has descended into the world, showing majesty in his treasure appearance. The image of Captain Shanuo is different. He has a huge golden body, and the clothes on his upper body have been bursting, revealing his clear-cut abdominal muscles and chest muscles. The muscles on the limbs are bursting, as if even the golden body cannot suppress the power inside. The golden strands of hair rising into the sky are more like sharp swords shooting straight into the sky. There is also an indifferent and ruthless expression on the face. Rather than being said to be a giant Buddha, Sha Nuo's current form is more like a golden arhat in the Buddhist kingdom, subduing demons and entering the world with force. Is this the power brought by the phantom beast species? Captain Sha Nuo murmured to himself, feeling the changes in his body. The golden body attached did not affect his flexibility, and he could feel that his defense instantly increased by several levels. Moreover, the abundant physical strength and energy in his body seemed to be ready at any time. Prepare to repair the damage to this body. Coupled with the return of life he just gained, Captain Shano feels like he can also do sit-ups. As expected of a being even rarer than Logia. Captain Shiano sighed. Is this your ability? Copy other people's fruit abilities. During the Warring States period, the voice of Hong Zhang and Dalu spread throughout the battlefield. Who would tell the enemy what he is capable of? Shock wave. Captain Sha Nuo showed no sense of martial ethics. He refused to answer and at the same time took action brazenly. Buddha's impact. Two shock waves containing a terrifying aura collided in the center of the battlefield. Exploded. Boom. Boom. The huge noise made the entire desert island tremble, and the shock waves of the two white light curtains competed with each other. As they were pulled against each other, the surrounding air made a sharp roar due to the strong friction. 
As time passed, both shock waves gradually lost their power and slowly subsided. What a troublesome ability. The Golden Buddha's warring states period couldn't help but sigh. He used this giant Buddha form to dominate the sea and beat countless pirates to their feet. I didn't expect that today, I would meet Sha Nuo, who has the same fruit ability as myself. Only when you face the power of the big Buddha fruit personally will you realize that the power brought by this fruit is indeed powerful. Both attack methods, damage range, and defense capabilities have been greatly improved. If Sha Nuo had enough physical strength and domineering power, I'm afraid this battle would not end easily. But what Warring States didn't know was that Sha Nuo not only had more physical strength than Warring States, but also had higher quality and greater reserves of domineering energy. And there are two fruit abilities. As the General of Marine and the recognized successor of Marine Fleet Admiral in the future, Sengoku. So he has seen part of the Devil Fruit Illustrated book. Sengoku believed that Shano's fruit ability was a replica of the fruit he had seen in the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Not only can you copy other people's appearance, but you can also copy other people's fruit abilities. This is only mentioned briefly in the illustrated book, and the Warring States period is not clear about the specific ability restrictions. It would be too scary if you could keep copying it after just being in contact with it. And Sha Nuo has not touched him. If it could just be copied from a long distance away, Sengoku couldn't imagine what kind of monster Sha Nuo would become in a few years. Therefore, it must be captured today. And it can only be captured alive. Such terrifying devil fruit abilities will still create new monsters if they flow into the sea again. No matter what, I can't let you go today. The voice of Hong Zongdalu from the Warring States period came again. You have to have the strength to realize such words. Captain Shano is not polite at all. Another shock wave was sent out with his backhand. Warring states raised his hand to fight back, and the two shock waves met again in the air. Buddha no Senju. Captain Sha Nuo shouted a shameful attack slogan. This was just made up by him, and the move was actually a punch. Swing it around randomly. But, it also depends on who is doing the tortoise punch. The king's eight punches produced by Luffy's great ape king gun are quite powerful, and if Luffy is in gear four, he should not be able to reach the level of a shogun. Therefore, Captain Sha Nuo's random punches at this moment carried strong shock waves and were quite powerful. Ever since the Warring States period had the Great Buddha Fruit, such a strategy had never been used. Because most of the enemies can't catch his punch, or those who can catch it won't use random punches to deal with it. Because of his large size, if he punches continuously, his speed is relatively slow and it is easy for others to take advantage of him. This time I faced Sha Nuo. Even though I was from the same school and couldn't defeat him, I was still a very rare opponent. Although Warring States has never used it, it does not prevent him from counter-attacking. Boom. 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 Strong shock waves exploded in the sky at high frequency. The whole world was stirred up and roared and trembled incessantly. Shishiwe governed place earth coiling. During the continuous battle between real men, Sha Nuo suddenly used the power of the Piao Piao fruit. Behind Captain Shano, the ground on the desert island began to squirm, and the rocks turned into two huge lion heads. Flying out from behind the more than 20 meter tall golden body of Sha Nuo. Like two twin lions, working together to pounce on the prey. Nani. Warring states looked at the lion head coming towards him, and the memory of his past battle with the golden lion resurfaced. In such a high intensity confrontation with himself, he still had the energy to control the island behind him to complete such a delicate skill. And you can tell at a glance that it's powerful. But the Warring States period had no extra hands to defend. Ouch. There seemed to be two lion roars coming from the sky. The two huge lion heads formed by the governed place earth coiling hit the shoulders on both sides of the Buddha Warring States. Aha. Uh -huh. Warring States was in pain for a moment. The movements of his hands were slower by milliseconds. Now. Captain Sha Nuo suddenly withdrew his fist. Put one hand behind his waist and began to accumulate strength. After a short period of accumulating strength, he suddenly punched out the golden giant fist containing terrifying power. Momo. A hundredfold impact. After being injured, Sengoku was still relying on his inertia to punch wildly, but random punches and fast punches meant lack of strength, just to break through the opponent's defense line with high frequency. 
Faced with the sudden and powerful shock wave, Sengoku's fist was instantly broken. The defense line was lost. Boom. A light curtain appeared that was a hundred times larger than all previous shock waves. The huge light curtain directly completely enveloped the warring states period, which was more than 20 meters in the form of a giant Buddha. Boom. The strong impact washed away the golden skin of the warring states period. The strong agitation made the figure of the Buddha blurred. Warring states gritted his teeth, retracted his arms, and pushed them in front of him with all his strength. Such a powerful hundred-fold impact caused Captain Sha Nuo to lose his physical strength like crazy. Fortunately, I signed in the physical strength of one of them, otherwise this move would have drained myself dry. While maintaining the powerful shock wave, Captain Sha Nuo secretly rejoiced that his physical strength had been improved. The previous Captain Sha Nuo had a strong domineering spirit, but his physical fitness and stamina had always been weak. Because he doesn't take action often, everyone doesn't know this. Even if the, divine avoidance, was used to kill Crocodile last time, it was just a compressed version of the, divine avoidance, and Crocodile immediately passed out and had no further follow-up. Therefore, the problem of Captain Shano not lasting has not been discovered, but it does not mean that Captain Shano does not have such shortcomings. Boom. The strong shock wave once again broke through the Sengoku defense. The huge golden Buddha flew upside down. One blow. Even the general couldn't catch it. Warring states general. The sailors far away on the sea shouted in horror. Buddha's warring states period. The current marine general. Marine's top combat power. He was actually knocked away. This has undoubtedly had a huge impact on the sailors. But they have no choice, because the battle on the desert island is obviously not something they can participate in. Marine. When you're worried about your boss, why not worry about yourself first? A fierce voice sounded over the warship. The marines who heard the sound looked up. I saw several huge bubbles floating on the warship in the sky. The same situation exists on every warship. And in the bubble, there are many figures with pale skin, and even skeletons. Our battle has begun. Marines. Evan's voice sounded again. Bang. 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 The bubbles burst one after another. The zombie army in the bubble is like a torrential rain. They rushed towards the warship from the air. Evan and Choate led the zombie rain to attack the large fleet. The sea was also involved in a battle, and the marines had no time to pay attention to the situation on the deserted island. The zombie army is immortal. Even if it falls directly from a high altitude bubble onto a warship, there will be no chance of death or injury. Some unlucky zombies did not aim at the warship and directly smashed into the sea. If it is a zombie created by Moria before, falling into the sea will mean the death of this zombie. But Moria's shadow fruit has been removed by the system from the side effects of the devil fruit. So the zombies who fell into the sea did not lose their combat effectiveness. Instead, they swam to the warship closest to them one by one, trying to climb onto the warship from the sea. The deck of the warship has been caught in a fierce battle. The sailors fought back hard. But it was beyond their expectations. The zombies couldn't dodge, and the sharp knife flashed past, and the knife blade hit the zombies' head and shoulders. But no blood came out. Not even their skin was broken open. How is that possible? Are they immortal? Stop saying stupid things. If you can't kill him with one blow, just chop him with a few more blows. Why is this skeleton moving? Hey, hey, why are you still kicking like a roundhouse? The marines were caught off guard by the sudden zombie army. The zombies have integrated into the shadow of the shadow core, equipped with the physical skills of the shadow ninjas, and their immortality also makes up for the fragile defense of the shadow core. The combination of the zombie army and the shadow core has created a zombie army with high defense and flexibility. But it is also limited by the upper limit of the strength of the black shadow core. The zombies are fine against ordinary marines, but when encountering a marine who has mastered the sixth form of marine and has a military rank, they are basically powerless and can only rely on numbers to consume their physical strength. In fact, the so-called immortality does not mean invincibility. If these zombies were thrown into Captain Shano's 100-fold impact, they would probably turn into ashes directly. Immortality just means high defense. On a desert island. Garp saw the two huge golden Buddha statues fighting passionately, and his brows were frowning. 
he did not imagine that a defecting prison chief could be so powerful. Especially when I saw Sha Nuo using, lion power govern place earth coiling, and then using, hundred impact, to knock Sengoku away. Garp couldn't sit still. He set off to help Sengoku. Base. A huge flying slash was drawn. The green slash made the sky look dark. Garp turned his head to look, raised his hand and struck out with an iron fist. The ultimate armed color wrapped around the iron fist, and the black air flow condensed with domineering energy flashed. Flying slash cuts through the ground, cuts through the air, and meets Garp's iron fist. Bang. The terrifying looking huge slash was directly blown away by Garp's iron fist, disappearing between heaven and earth, and the sky regained its luster. Garp looked at the young man standing in the distance. When the conflict broke out between the two sides, this boy was arranged by Sha Nuo to deal with him. Garp did not take action at that time because he was observing Sha Nuo and did not pay attention to the young man carrying a big knife. At the same time, he was also trying to restore his physical strength. After all, he had completely withstood the self-destruction of Bullet's trump card, and the impact on him was still considerable. Garp does not have the fruit-enhanced body of the Phantom Beast species, nor does it have the steel balloon talent of Charlotte Linlin that surpasses the sea. So the Flying Slash just now was their first fight. Because Mahawk's task is to hold down Garp, he is different from Crocodile and others. Mahawk still has some self-awareness and knows that he will not be Garp's opponent now. Moreover, Garp is not a person who mainly fights with swords, and Mahawk has no challenge mentality. Since Garp is not moving, he is naturally willing to hold off like this. It wasn't until the main battlefield on Captain Shano's side changed just now that Garp couldn't help but go to support, then Mahawk took action boldly and stopped him. The captain will not let you interfere in the battle. Mahawk's sharp eyes like a falcon stared closely at Garp who was ready to go and said with a strong aura. Then let's deal with you first. Garp replied unceremoniously that he naturally has such strength, but Mahak is not afraid. When a strong person becomes stronger, he must draw his sword to face the stronger person. The knife that cuts at the strong is the sharpest knife. Bang. Phew. Mahak directly kicked the ground and rushed towards Garp. He was so fast that only an afterimage could be seen, with the long supreme sword, Yi, trailing behind him, like the long tail of a raptor. Shave. Garp used the sixth style, shaving, that he has practiced to the extreme. In Mahawk's sight, Garp disappeared out of thin air. The next second, a huge fist appeared in front of him. When, Mahawk used an extremely clever way to receive, Yi, in front of him in time, blocking this powerful iron fist. Crunch. Crunch. The unparalleled sharp sword, Yi, trembled. A powerful domineering aura hit his face, and Mahak could smell this powerful aura even from a distance of a big knife. If this punch hits me, I'm afraid it will be so painful that I lose control of my expression. In a duel of strength, Mahak has no advantage at all, and he himself knows this very well. Hence the clever use of swordsmanship. With a twist of the blade, most of Garp's strength was removed. The blade even took the opportunity to miss the iron fist and slash at Garp's body after punching. When, Garp took advantage of the situation and raised his arm to block the incoming sword. With the ultimate armament and domineering attached to it, it seemed that nothing could break it. However, Mahak himself also has a lot of domineering power. And, Yi, is also one of the supreme sharp swords, mixed with the unskilled conqueror's winding. He actually broke through Garp's defense. Wow. Garp retreated. I saw a long white mark on the forearm that had just received Mahak's attack. The skin was broken, and blood was faintly about to flow out. Does this count as an injury? Of course not. But this means that Mahak's attack is powerful enough. You must know that Garp's armed colors are unique in the world. Although there are no defensive skills in the advanced use of armed colors. Only the quality of the weapon color is different and unlike Bullet's blunt blow to Garp, Mahak's real sharp slash. A frontal breakthrough to Garp's armed color. Although it's just a little bit, you have to remember that Mahak is only in his twenties now. Garp's eyes were so gloomy that they were almost dripping with water. Isn't it another one that's not as good as Bullet? He has such strength at such a young age. Garp thought to himself. Such a strong defense. Let me try the knife on you. 
Conqueror's entanglement. Mahak roared in his heart, and the two kinds of domineering energy converge towards, Yi. The blade becomes heavy and scary again. Wow. Another shocking sword light pierced the heaven and earth. Mixed with weak black and red lightning, it resounded between the heaven and the earth. That's right. Garp's eyes widened, he was familiar with such a trick. Where did you find these monsters? Garp cursed in his heart, but his body flew out again. The terrifying aura condensed on his fist. He wants to completely defeat the young monster in front of him. Buzz. The terrifying dark green sword light flickered on. Yi, S blade. Mahak held his old friend tightly and fearlessly rushed towards Garp, who had a low aura. The unskilled conqueror's entanglement still made the sky tremble, and the clouds began to roll. Garp, on the other hand, has a new trick that has been used all over the world. He still has the ultimate armed domineering attitude attached to the iron fist. The condensed armed domineering energy even has the slightest lightning leap, which is no weaker than the entangled aura of conquerors. Facing Mahak who has just learned about conqueror's entanglement, this armed color is even better. Fist bone shave. With Garp roaring, the extreme speed made his figure disappear from sight again. Mahak had already taken precautions after suffering a loss. If you can't see with your eyes, don't trust your eyes. Mahak simply closed his eyes and began to use his sense of sight to sense Garp's location. Coming. With a start in his heart, Mahak caught the moment of Garp, and Mahak reacted instantly. The broadsword slashed out. The shocking sword light made the sky extremely dark. Black and red lightning appeared one after another. Dancing around the blade. What greeted the sword was an unpretentious fist, extremely black, with ink-colored lightning leaping. Boom. The powerful roar shook the desert island and everyone present. Suddenly, everyone stopped and turned to look at the roaring battlefield. Two figures met in midair. What's shocking is that the sword and fist did not collide firmly. Instead, they were in a stalemate at a distance of about one meter. A fuzzy spherical air mass appeared between the sword and the fist. Conqueror's black and red lightning and Garp's ultimate weapon colored ink lightning are beating crazily in this gas ball. They chase each other and fight, and the overflowing energy turns into thicker lightning, venting to the surroundings. The sky is cracked. Moria shouted in surprise. People looked up after hearing this. They saw that the clouds in the sky had sunk deep into the sky like a great rift valley at the location where the two men had impacted. It's like being cut open with a knife. Buzz. The impact between the two continues. The violent attack makes the surrounding air begin to distort. Mahak felt like he had hit the mountain with a knife and was unable to shake it at all. Moreover, he was still under tremendous pressure. If you can't hold on much longer, you will be defeated. Mahak has a clear understanding in his heart. I saw the broadsword held by his hands trembling slightly, oppressing him with unbearable force. Crocodile watched the battle between the two and knew that Mahak was not Garp's opponent at this time. If Mahak was defeated, Garp would be free. Whether Garp goes directly to help the Sengoku gang fight Captain Shano, or defeats the rest of them one by one, this is an unacceptable ending. He didn't know Captain Shano, but he was sure that the nine people present could not face a lieutenant general at the same time, plus Garp's sneak attack. Hold on a little longer. I'll be quick. Crocodile turned to look at his opponent, Lieutenant General Yi Shi, who was covered in bandages. Although facing such an opponent made Crocodile feel very boring. But judging from the current battlefield situation, Crocodile is the key to breaking the situation. The only way is to quickly deal with the opponent, and then join Mahak's battle. The two of them work together to deal with Garp, not to defeat him, but to delay him longer. Shalon. Think of it and do it. Crocodile takes action brazenly, pitying the enemy as the greatest harm to himself. Crocodile's killer move is the first time he takes action. The wild sand is rolling in, carrying the rocks shattered by the impact and rushing towards General Zuobo Yamanaka. Hateful. Zuo Bashan, who had just fought with Bullet, was at the end of his strength, with very little domineering energy and physical strength left in his body. Seeing the tornado of yellow sand sweeping over him, he could only grit his teeth and prepare for defense. Shaw Lan's attack range was locked with Crocodile's sight and color, leaving him with nowhere to hide. Boom. The yellow sand surrounded General Zuo Bo Yamanaka. The violent yellow sand tore at his skin, and the fierce wind tried to blow him away. 
Zuo Bo Yamanaka's souls were as if they were nailed to the earth, and they remained unmoved despite being blown by the strong wind. He used his remaining physical strength to activate the iron block. Although he could only stand there and be beaten, it also increased his defense to the greatest extent. Otherwise these violent yellow sands will tear him apart. Desert Sword. Zuo Bo Yamanaka's eyes widened suddenly. A cold voice entered his ears, followed by severe pain in his abdomen. Die, Marine. In the tornado of yellow sand in the sky, a sharp sand surface made of thin sand suddenly burst out on the ground, and completely penetrated Yamanaka's abdomen from Zuobo, just like the human body cutting in a magic show. Crocodile is not a magician, his methods are all used to kill people. Lieutenant General Zuo Bashan was severely injured by Crocodile just after meeting him. Wow! A large amount of bright red blood spurted out from General Zuo Bo Yamanaka's mouth. He felt as if he had lost control of his lower body, and his body could not sense the existence of his lower body. Is it coming to an end? Zuo Bo Yamanaka will have already started to go through a revolving door, and the experiences of all ages in life are like movie scenes, flashing before his eyes one by one. He joined Marine at a young age and acted as a pioneer in battle. With his extraordinary perseverance and courage, and his mediocre talents, he gradually entered the ranks of Marine's top management and worked with a group of people with extraordinary talents. He punishes and eliminates evil on the sea, his family is happy, and his daughter is married to an equally outstanding young Marine, but he is about to die. If these villains are not imprisoned, more Marines will die because of them in the future. More families are broken, even the young man I admire. Zuo Bo Yamanaka regained his consciousness, his upper body had begun to slide down, and he looked at the figure hidden in the yellow sand. He was more focused than ever before, and the sword sensed its master's situation, trembling as if it was screaming. Justice never loses. After burning out the last strength of his life, Zuo Bo Yamanaka will roar out, and a powerful sword light will be slashed out by him. The realm of great swordsmen is now broken. The sudden sword light caught Crocodile off guard. A person who is already dying can still break through at such a time. Uh huh. It was too late for Crocodile to turn into yellow sand and escape. His armed instinct was activated and he hurriedly defended himself. The sword light passed through, Crocodile cried out in pain, and a large amount of blood spurted out. A huge knife edge from the left shoulder to the right waist almost cut Crocodile into two. He was cut again because of his arrogance. Hurt. Bang. Zuobo Yamanaka's body fell heavily to the ground. His white eyes seemed to want to witness Crocodile's death, but he didn't see that the moment he took out the knife, he fell into a deep sleep forever, but there was a smile at the corner of his mouth. The curvature of his lips shows that he recognizes his life very much. Lieutenant General Marine. Zuo Bashan. Killed in action. The yellow sand dispersed, revealing the situation inside. Crocodile gritted his teeth and dealt with his serious wounds. On the ground not far away from him, a body was broken and sank there. The rest of the people also glanced at each other during the battle, and then fell into different moods. Ha ha hey hey hey. I didn't expect this newcomer to move so fast. Don't let the newcomer underestimate you. Marine, please go to hell. The bald lieutenant general on the opposite side was still shocked by the tragic death of General Zuobo Yamanaka. Unexpectedly, the little giant in front of him suddenly stepped up his offensive, which caught him off guard. The huge sword was chopped down, and the bald lieutenant general could only raise his sword above his head to resist. However, the shadows on the ground in Moria suddenly began to change. Two black shadows that looked like long knives suddenly broke out of the ground and went straight to the side of the bald lieutenant general. Um, the bald lieutenant general also exploded with power and bounced off Moria's sword. He quickly retreated and avoided two shadow attacks. A person with abilities, you can control shadows. The bald lieutenant general calmly analyzed Moria's abilities. Ha 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 ha. You are so sharp. You are worthy of being a marine lieutenant general. But I'd better ask you to die. Moria grinned widely. Ten black shadows that looked exactly like him broke off the ground and stood upright. Marine. You can beat ten. Another battlefield. Shear you. You traitor. You are the greatest disgrace to justice. The lieutenant general with a long beard on the opposite side spoke angrily. The two people were close together, and the two famous knives collided, making a sharp crunching sound. 
Justice. He who has a big fist is justice. Don't be naive. When Shiryu heard this, he smiled evilly, not caring at all about the reprimand of the lieutenant general opposite him. Dang dang dang. The two of them exerted force at the same time, and the two famous knives were bounced away by the impact, and then turned into afterimages at the same time, and they slashed multiple times. Opposite him is a senior lieutenant general from Marine Headquarters. He has experienced hundreds of battles and is very strong. Even if Shiryu goes through a domineering cheek, it is difficult to tell the winner for a while. Ho ho ho. Wu, beat his chest crazily, like beating a war drum. Fierce punches were thrown down from high altitude. Lieutenant General Marine, who has a killer hairdo below, is sweating profusely. What the is this monster? While thinking about it, he quickly jumped away to avoid this powerful and heavy punch. Taking advantage of the opportunity to slam his fist into the ground. Lieutenant General Shamat climbed up. Wu, S arm, and he used, shaving, and, moonwalk, to the extreme. The arms surrounding, Wu, were slashed while flying towards the head. It looks like a soldier cutting down a monkey. But the difference is that, Wu, S ghost body is extremely resistant. Even if he is cut by the lieutenant general's sharp attack, the blood flow will be stopped in a short time. Therefore, the Shimade attacks all the way, slashing blood everywhere, but the actual damage caused is negligible. When facing huge creatures, people tend to think that they are huge and bulky, and if they are fast enough, they can be beaten like fools. But, Wu, is not the case. He has top fighting talent and has already learned various fighting skills taught by Captain Sha Nuo. Including, Marine Six Styles. Just when Lieutenant General Shamat was about to break through to, Wu, S shoulder. Roar, shave. After the roar, Donkey Kong, Wu, disappeared instantly. Lieutenant General Shamat's eyes widened. How could it be so fast? A huge shadow appeared above Lieutenant General Shamat in the next second. He looked up and saw a punch that was no weaker than before, and it had already hit his face. The huge fist made it impossible for him to dodge sideways. Boom. Lieutenant General Shamat was like a meteor. After receiving a solid punch, he fell rapidly from the sky and hit the hard ground of the desert island hard. The rocks shattered and dust flew. A huge pit appeared on the desert island. The battlefield where, shield, is located is not far away. Black wings that cover the sky. Burning flames on the body. Black red skin. A ferocious and ferocious expression. This is the devil from hell. A lieutenant general here with a face covered with scars thought secretly. What kind of species is this? Is it a mixture of ancient Lunaria and giants? But no matter how you look at it, this is not a species in human form. And all of his attacks can't cause any damage to this huge monster. This is too outrageous. I am also a marine lieutenant general after all. Could it be that only a general can hurt him? The, shield, already has the ultimate physical talent, coupled with the flame talent of the Lunaria clan, which is famous for defense. At this time, it is completely defensive when facing the lieutenant general who mainly relies on fist attacks. Can't break the defense. Roar. The huge mouth of the abyss opened, letting out a deafening roar, and a fiery breath brewed in its throat. Immediately afterwards, a huge and dangerous sea of fire erupted from the mouth, sweeping directly at Lieutenant General Scar. Elsewhere, Sword S opponent is a one eyed Lieutenant General with an eye patch on his right eye. In the Lieutenant General's hand is a rare and sharp knife. But Lieutenant General Duai was shocked to find that the quality of the weapon in the hands of the giant gorilla in front of him was even better than his saber. The ultimate sharp knife. So big. And it was used by a gorilla. Lieutenant General Dumu felt that his knowledge had been completely refreshed. Sword. Doesn't care what this marine is thinking. The sharp sword doesn't stop at all. Slashing away with one slash. The huge force made Duai Lieutenant General not dare to make a direct attack and he resisted by constantly leaning sideways to release his force. It may seem bulky, but the sword it wields is airtight. It suppresses the one-eyed general and can only passively defend. Red Ogre, Raji. Blue Ogre, Dongli, does your behavior represent Elbaf's declaration of war on the world government? A lieutenant general wearing a navy cap asked Raji in a serious tone. Ka, I am just a warrior sailing on the sea, and I do not represent Elbaf. But if the world government wants to challenge the giant kingdom, 
I can accept it on their behalf. Quack, quack, quack. That's the funniest joke I've heard in a hundred years. Raji is completely innocent and pulls the world government's tiger skin to suppress him. Elbaf's fools will not be timid. If they really fight, they will climb directly to the Red Earth continent and lift the roof of the House of the Draco. The lieutenant general in the peaked cap had no choice but to look at his companion next to him, a marine lieutenant general with long hair. There is nothing we can do, let's go together and deal with them both. The long-haired lieutenant general said unceremoniously. Ka Hada. It seems we have disappeared for too long. Someone will challenge us both at the same time. Hey. Dongli. Quack, quack, quack. Then let them see the power of giants. Raji. The two giants stood sideways together, holding huge weapons high. Red and blue air surged out of their bodies. The big sword and the giant axe struck down hard. Hegemony. Boom. One move giant combined attack skill, hegemony. It also attracted the attention of everyone present, and the huge power blew away the two lieutenant generals. But their strength was not weak, and they were not defeated. Hey. Sengoku. Your companion seems to be a little overwhelmed. Captain Shano looked at the battlefields everywhere. Except for Mahawk, who was having a hard time fighting, most of the others were evenly matched, and some even had a slight advantage. Especially when Crocodile instantly killed the seriously injured Lieutenant General Marine. Although he himself was also seriously injured, he was still alive after all. With the ability of the Shasha fruit in hand, even if you are seriously injured, it will have a huge impact on the competition between two people. Stop talking such nonsense. If you have the guts, try to see if you can leave alive. This sentence should be given to you. Warring states period. Boom. Another strong shock wave hit. The hundredfold impact of the Momo fruit is too expensive, and even the current Captain Sha Nuo does not dare to use it as a normal attack. But just now, Warring States had been successfully injured, and it was just snowballing now. Warring States. Do you want to try this trick? The turbulent momentum erupted in Sha Nuo's huge golden body. The heaven and earth roared, the world was dark, and only black and red lightning cut through the sky, looming. The already oppressive Golden Buddha does not look dignified and sacred at this moment. It looks more like an evil flesh Buddha crawling out of hell. Stop looking down on others. Conqueror's domineering spirit, I also have it. Buzz. The solemn and solemn voice of Hong Zongdalu rang out between the heaven and the earth. It was different from the heaven and earth that were as colorless as hell behind Shanuo. Behind the warring states period, Golden light shines, and holy golden light spreads all over the world, and all the holy spirits are cheering for it. Ha! Captain Shano really didn't expect that Sengoku would be able to use Conqueror's Entanglement. But it is understandable. As a person who possesses Conqueror's, and is standing on the top of the sea, and often fights with people like Roger, it is not easy to learn Conqueror's Entanglement. Unacceptable. Let's try this trick. Momo hundred times lion power governed place earth coiling. Four huge currents rolled up from outside the desert island. Forming four huge lion heads of terrifying size. The warship was dwarfed in front of them. Like an ancient evil god looking down at the world, staring fiercely at the creatures on the desert island. Hey, hey. The captain's move is a bit too much. Moria looked in horror at the huge lion head that had covered most of the sky. His eyeballs trembled crazily and he swallowed hard. What a mind-blowing power. Crocodile looked at the terrifying moves made of the sea in the sky. As a person with abilities, he was already disgusted by the sea, but Captain Shano could control the sea. Such a gap. It is difficult for people to rise up to resist. The face of the great Buddha of the Warring States period widened with anger, such a large-scale attack. Isn't he afraid of it? Of course Captain Shano is not afraid. He has no side effects. And, he can fly. Although there are no side effects, I don't want to become a drowned rat. Four huge sea lion heads have gathered and surrounded the entire desert island. In their shocked eyes, Captain Sha Nuo slowly floated into the air, and a round wheel appeared behind his head, like a compassionate Buddha. That's the change caused by using Conqueror's Haki in the form of the Great Buddha. Do you know the move where a move falls from the sky? Warring states stared closely at Sha Nuo in midair, his intuition told him that something bad was going to happen. Ru, come, god, palm. 
conqueror's domineering energy wrapped around him, and the originally white shock wave turned into black and red. It's also mixed with dancing lightning. And it has been strengthened a hundred times by the Momo fruit. This move, it is the strongest blow that Captain Shano can currently perform. The governed place earth coiling condensed in front is the largest attack range. Ha 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 ha. Marines. Welcome the captain's wrath. We are temporarily withdrawing. Moria opened his arms and laughed crazily, like a devout believer in the devil. A large number of black shadows rushed in all directions from Moria's feet, and the shadow clone that besieged the bald lieutenant general also disappeared with the wind. The bald lieutenant general had many stains on his body and looked miserable. Moria's black shadow moved to everyone's feet, and then in Marine's surprised eyes, they fell into the black shadow again and disappeared as if they were on stage. At the same time, Moria also took away Bullet who had completely lost his physical strength. Bullet could no longer get up, but he witnessed the whole battle, and he was shocked again. The young man in front of him had a very familiar feeling. It looked like Captain Roger's aura. And his strength should still be higher than Roger. Garp. New. Sengoku also used his own conqueror's entanglement. Golden lightning rushes into the coming darkness. But compared to the black and red shock waves, the golden shock waves seem small and pitiful. Boom. When the two shock waves met, the strong vibrations exceeded the limit that the island could bear. A huge crack appeared directly on the entire desert island at the point where the impact met, spanning the entire desert island. The desert island was split into two. The sky above was also cut apart. Stronger than Mahak Garp's previous hedge. The clouds have sunk deeply into the cracks. They are constantly coming from all directions, as if there is a black hole swallowing everything inside. The huge sea lion head rushes down. It will swallow the entire desert island. Garp's figure appears in front of a giant lion's head. Fist bone meteor shower. Garp suddenly punched dozens of times. The punches were filled with wind and the breath was terrifying. Wow. The huge lion head was shattered. It turned into rain and fell down. Several other lieutenant generals also took action one after another. Until the water collapsed and two of them were scattered by marine. The remaining two flooded the entire desert island. Warring states, who was standing on the desert island struggling to support himself, also touched the sea water at the moment. The body shrunk rapidly. It turned back into a human form in midair. Because it was also out of the control of the sea water, and after Garp broke up the first water mass, he decisively used his shave to get behind Sengoku. Look at the huge shock wave hitting the two of them. The two of them worked together in tacit understanding. Even without the Buddha form, Sengoku can still use Conqueror's Entanglement. The ultimate Conqueror's Entanglement. Plus Garp's unique ultimate weapon color Entanglement. The two joined forces to suppress this era, and no pirate can escape under their hands. Two punches. Meet the shock wave once consumed by Sengoku again. Boom. The violent explosion spread throughout the entire sea. Even the zombies in Moria were shocked by the sound and felt uncomfortable all over. Above the war fortress, Mahak and others temporarily left the battlefield and watched the bombardment closely. The impact beyond cognition made the world seem to have pressed the mute button. Everyone lost their hearing and could not hear the outside world at all. Immediately afterwards, a strong and dazzling light curtain erupted from the impact point. The world turned white, and everyone temporarily lost their hearing. It's as if the world has been shattered by three people. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.